And Heidi. Nearly live. We're live. Hello. Hi, guys. You can see Tracy was here already, even though it's her birthday. Yeah. Happy birthday, Tracy. I wonder if she's there now. That's just Yeah, left happy early. birthday if you are there. Happy birthday if you're not there. <laughs> um, Hello, Karen, Joan, Heidi. Yeah, Heidi, sorry Sylvia. to hear you're in Plymouth. <laughs> Sylvia, how are you doing? Sylvia's not been very well. Yeah, yeah. And any, wor any of you that are worried that you can't see us yet, don't worry, you're not going to be able to see us yet. Nothing to see here. If we had our way, you'd never be able to see us. But <laughs> <laughs> I just accidentally saw myself on the camera early on, wasn't ready for it. Ugh. Never leaving the house. Yes, again. I don't know what she actually saw in the camera, but it oh, wasn't what it was, was hideous. actually. There. It was it hideous. Was... I don't usually see my whole self on the camera like when I'm recording videos. But... I've got a whole so load small, of paper to do some thread camera. book folding and. Um, just practicing one of the papers to make sure it folds nicely and it folds absolutely beautifully that's free paper yeah. as well yeah nice what's everybody else up to today oh hey paula uh, linda. and kerry linda where's linda miss linda oh yes hey linda <laughs> all right shall we do anita? the damage let people see our lovely Hunting faces anita now? for a while how are you doing Yes, go on, go for it. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I think we should have had the sad, sad trombone. Yeah, that, probably. Really. To be fair. Yeah, um, yeah. What's everybody else up to today? What What are you you all going to be doing while you're watching? Oh, thank you for posting those lovely pictures, Karen. I really appreciated that. Yeah. She covered a whole ironing board <laughs> with the contents of each pack. Oh, I tell you what, I, I'm, I think John will be glad to see the back of them, won't he? Because they've been all over the house. Yes, I imagine the, the mess has been stressing him out a bit. <laughs> yeah, he, he, yeah, it's much more organised than I am. Yeah. Oh, in bed with the cold, awful. Uh, yuck. Oh, do you know what? Yeah. There's something about a hot water bottle. You don't get them so much now, do you? I guess because we've all got central heated houses. Yeah, they're and not as necessary, I suppose. But, and stuff. Yeah. But um, I love a hot water bottle. I know I've been a big fan of them. Haven't you? Yeah, yeah, well, you don't feel the cold, do you? That's part of the reason, yeah. yeah. I went round to his house yesterday. He has to put the heating on, especially for me. Otherwise, he keeps it at a balmy 15 degrees or something. Mm. That's like, no. It doesn't turn on most of the day. Hey, either. Barbara! Just occasionally, to make sure that the pipes don't freeze. And Kate's you know. there, Hello, okay. Kate. Kate's been okay, out of the loop yeah. for one reason or another recently. Oh, lovely to see everybody. Yeah. Jen's knitting a blanket, and it's a really good way to keep yourself warm, actually, knitting or crocheting a blanket, because it keeps Got you Gabby warm here. as you work. Hey, Gabby! And Jean. <laughs> Jean! Oh, did you see any of the Inspired By art pieces yet? I saw a few. Not looked Jeans at them properly and, yet. And Gabby's but, were. I haven't yeah. had a look to see if anybody like outside of the collaboration group has. Mm. I, I saw Kerry had. Kerry, Kerry did something for it, which is brilliant. Yeah. I know I saw Gabby's. It I was haven't checked the Gabby. hashtag yet. Yeah, yeah, it was Gabby. It just actually <laughs> looked like Gabby. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm. I haven't done my. Well, I did. I've got just my to show you tonight. Off, I, I drew a spaceship, but. I'm trying to persuade because he brought his art, he brought his artwork with him to carry on working on, but he's now. Like, I only brought it with me because it just stays in my bag all the time. Yeah, well, you've got all these different art materials here you could be making use of. So I don't know if you've got enough stuff here. <laughs> uh, Pretty much any art material you could want to try out. Yeah, these guys don't normally see this like side of the room. Uh, no, behind the camera, do they? no, it's messy, but it's um. Yeah, if you think the whole room looks like this, yeah. <laughs> this is just a curtain. But She's what you probably do see is like when I'm recording videos quite often, especially the arty ones, mm. I'll just go like. Yes, that's not because she's pre prepared for the video. It's no, just. It's... She's got everything. Yeah. I feel like Inspector Gadget I sometimes like cage, I can reach yeah. to. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Low calorie cake. Yeah. Perfect for Diabetes a diabetic. Diabetes friendly. Yeah. yeah. Could have had that. Did you actually make that cake, though, that you took the <laughs> picture of? I think so, yeah, because I asked, yeah. asked to send some to me. Oh, right, that's, that's how it... OK. Could have yeah. printed it on that rice paper with edible And then you ink. could have actually eaten it. Yeah. Mm, didn't try hard enough there, then, well, obviously. clearly, yeah. yeah. Try again. Have we missed anybody? It's Susie! <laughs> Don't try again. Hey, Sue! <laughs> 
Susan, so one that made the uh, mushroom kit, that sent me the mushroom um, kit. That, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've actually got here. <laughs> Here's my Sue inspired mushroom. Oh, it's gone a bit more skew biff than it was. I love doing this. I'm definitely going to do. What are you. <laughs> Put it away! Uh, <laughs> nobody thinks it's funny. He's not big and he's not clever. <laughs> if one Martha. of us here is not big. Hello, <laughs> Martha. She's <laughs> so small. So Carrie's daughter Zoe, she's autistic and can't feel the heat. Ah. But mm. yeah, Tom feels the heat too much, he can't feel the cold. Yeah. 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 It's funny, isn't it? But there is a, a, a temperature perception thing mm. about autism, isn't there, with some people? Yeah, apparently so. Yeah. Yeah. She can wear a winter coat in the hottest of summer days. See, I remember mm. you doing that years ago when you were a kid. But now it's more like I think we'd be walking I was, through the snow. And I was you'd have boiling a hot at the time. It was more just like it was, it was a habit, a, so was I a had to wear security it. Security yeah. blanket thing. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I was sweating like a pig inside that coat. <laughs> oh, Sue, that's a, that's so Sue Bartlett is Granny Sue in at this point. Yeah, laryngitis. Oh, miserable. And I don't know if Christine yeah. will make it. Uh, probably not, because she's been really. But she's had that. Um, She's had a kidney stone. Yeah, we've got a lot of unwell people. Yeah, right, we? yeah. Yeah. I've been a bit, yeah. like, wheezy and stuff again, and I've realised, and I think it's because I've been making up these mm. kits, these... So, um, for anybody that has, I hasn't seen it in... I think I've only mentioned it in Discord. Um, but I've been making up these scrap pack kits. And um, and so for the last two weeks, I've been tearing up fabric and fiddling about with fabric and going through boxes yeah, of fabric. You can and see stuff. the dust in the air. Yeah, and I was I ended up watching an old video the other day because a, a few people, which is really nice, a few people have been watching like older videos. So while I was re um, replying to this comment, the video came up, and I thought mm. I sounded really like stuffy, stuffed up nose and. <laughs> you know yeah. and I think it's I think it's fabric uh, sadly which is like I'm not going to stop messing with fabric because I get a bit so I'm going to take the nurse's suggestion and start using an, an, uh, yeah. an antihistamine daily and see if that helps yeah. it looks like a yeah. generous donator oh it's having some trouble uh. no what we need to say about that so interestingly, Martha is saying the same thing. Look, fabric yeah. and yarn, especially cotton, makes you stuffy and sneeze. Yeah, I was getting, like, I didn't even notice until I saw this old video the other day. And then I watched another old one where I've been opening a pack. I thought, I seem to always sound a bit... <clears throat> well, I mean... When I've been doing a lot sense, of fabric stuff. dust allergies are common and contrary yeah. to popular belief... Uh, dead skin cells are not the major component in dust, it's fabric fibres, because of course That's what they say, yeah. Um, yeah. There's this sort of misconception that it's all yeah. skin cells and Someone stuff, once said it was dead skin, and it's like, no, of course it's not. It's yeah. We've got carpets and curtains and things everywhere. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And bed linen. You've only clothes. got to look at the layer of dust that forms yeah. on top of my speaker there and the top of my computer to see yeah. how much dust is in this room. How much skin would you have to be losing for that to happen? <laughs> yeah, <it's> like... <laughs> yeah. And why is that not the case in any other room in the house? It's this room. Yeah. So so, yeah, yeah. Um, so I'm, I'm gonna, um, oh, I'm gonna try well, the anti thing. Your phone to the TV. That makes sense. Yeah. So um, before I forget, so Suzika, you can see there in the chat, and she's Suzika in um, Discord. So that's Susan. She has donated a prize for tonight, which is very exciting. So switch to the um, thingy so we can show. Yeah, you. yeah. And this is where we find out, because I did this in a bit of a hurry, we find out if I've made these, any spelling mistakes. And you spelled cross wrong. No, it's okay. I've done, it's all <laughs> okay. So um, for anybody that's into stitching, Sue has donated this cross stitch kit. Um, <laughs> she said she bought this, she bought the kit, and it's beautiful. The finished piece there is absolutely beautiful. It's a Paris market absolutely yeah. beautiful and look at all the threads that you get and everything it looks like a nice quality kit doesn't yeah it? i mean like, you know they cost a lot of money those mm. kits when you go to buy them um but Su <laughs> susan bought it and then decided her eyesight just wasn't up to it and i kind of yeah I, I get that i get that we have to do the ones where they're printed on the canvas these days but um but susan susan we've got so many sues we've got so many but susie k is a susan <laughs> um 
she has very kindly offered to donate it as a giveaway. Mm. So if anybody is into stitching and would like to win this amazing kit, so it's all the stuff you see there. You get the the um, base, the, the cloth that you would stitch into, you get the chart, you get all of the um, threads, everything. It's a lovely, that's a lovely, uh, lovely Surely prize to win. for such a lovely prize, the the delivery must be a very small area within the UK. That we oh, try. yes, and, and we've decided it's going to be open but wait, worldwide. So for those of you watching from Australia, <laughs> New Zealand, the USA, wherever, anywhere in the world, it's open to anywhere. So we could open the giveaway now. We could open it now, yeah, because you can, you can enter any time. We'll wait till the end to, to actually draw it, shall yeah. we? So you, if you would like to win this amazing cross-stitch kit donated by Susan, um, type exclamation mark join or exclamation point. I think they call it in America, don't they? They join. do, yeah. Make sure no, it's not a space. No spaces, no capitals. Yeah. No, no, no please, no thank you, nothing. Just mm -hmm. exactly as Kate has done there. Yes, Kate has nailed it. If you're typing on a phone... <laughs> Gene is saying, what a nightmare. If you're typing on a phone, is it will try and add a space for you because yeah. phones are being helpful. <laughs> That's it, uh, perfect. So, Sylvia, yeah. Karen, you've, you've done that perfectly. I think, as it happens, I knew that people would do what PP <laughs> did and it does also allow that, but I wouldn't rely on it. I've got a feeling I saw PP, you coming, PP. I've got a feeling PP doesn't really want to win this, the cross-stitch kit. I think you might be right. But he might be entered now. <laughs> although, apparently, he's a, he's a dab and a... Um, um, Crocheting yeah, long, yeah. long lengths of chain stitch. <laughs> yes. How are you doing, Peepy? I haven't seen you for a while. It has been a while, hasn't Hello. it? Hello. Yeah. I can't see now because we're looking at something else on the screen, so I'm waving blindly. Oh, yeah, I'm just checking that it's going to be reminding people about the giveaway. It is. Yeah. So we'll, we'll, we'll draw that towards the end of the stream. And, um, and I'm going to start folding now because I'm determined I'm going to make one yes. of these books. I suppose I've we cut, want to go to the close-up thing, don't we? I've actually yeah. stupidly cut enough pieces to make two of these thread books. So, um... Yes, that was rather... We haven't seen Sue... Ambitious. S-O-O Sue. Sue Matthews. Sue Mattart, no. have we? I think she's Sue Mattart so. on... She'll come if up she's as here, Sue Mattart. So, uh, Sue and I did this little kind of mini collaboration because Sue sent me... I'm going to show you here during the week she sent me not during the week a couple of weeks ago she sent me these beautiful things so this one is you have some very generous friends in this community I you? I'm so I'm I'm like a spoilt child so in this height, is like <laughs> Sue Sue is Sue sent me this um her take on the Chinese book I'm not going to try and pronounce it you can look up the pronunciation but we ran out of time yeah it's those words and these go back centuries, these books. I did a, um, a video during the week. Sue did one showing how to make the, is it Tato box or Tato box? T-A-T-O box. So Sue's done a video showing Home how to tatoes. do these amazing boxes. Apparently they use these to um, present kimonos. Mm. Lovely. So I don't know if they actually, do they fold the kimono in this way or use a huge... You start with a square sheet of paper. It's supposed to fit a whole kimono and you'd need a big piece of paper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. This would have been starting with a 30 centimetre kind of 12 inch ish mm. sheet, I, th I imagine. Toilet so this is, the, the um, this is the thread book. Um, and. Hang on. Well, Sylvia was wondering after watching your video if you could make it in really starched fabric. I imagine you could, yeah. Yes. Now, funny enough, somebody did that in a workshop. I, I, I found a blog post about it. Somebody had done it all with, they'd use these kind of eco dyed fabrics where they'd kind of use rust and things to dye yeah, fabrics, yeah. and she stiffened it. Um, I think she actually. Did she actually paste it to some really thin papers. I can't remember now how she did it, but basically it ended up looking like it was made completely out of fabric. Nice. But it folded in exactly the same way. That oh. brings to mind, after matching that, is um, that cling film replacement waxed cloth thing that you got. So probably oh, the, a waxed um, fabric could work. Actually, yeah, well. uh, the, the beeswax yeah. um, wraps. Beeswax wraps, I think yeah. they call them. Yeah. So this was this was my take on it. This is um, like <laughs> Sue's done this. Um, you can see there <laughs> they were on identical side. We've obviously started with the same size pieces of paper. Yeah. Um, I, I, it's just such a nice. Traditionally, you use them for putting threads in. 
Makes sense. So let me let me go through this for anybody that didn't see it. So this is the smallest box. So you got sixteen of these. This is the next size box. So you got eight of those. This is the next size box. So you got four of them. Mm. Next one down is this one. Make a really got interesting got advent. Two of them, <laughs> wouldn't it? Yeah. Except it comes to thirty-one altogether. You'd have to have a couple extra days. Mm, yeah. And that's the, the 31st box, hmm. which also, in this case, forms the cover. And then I've made this origami and the belly band as well. Um. It <laughs> While is I was a lot working of folding, out to do Kate, something, yeah. I ended up with this um, origami box, which I thought, mm. hey ho, I'm going to keep that. I remember stuff in. making an ashtray for you. Yes. Uh, in a similar way, a piece yes. of foil. <laughs> yeah, you did. I remember that. So I, start, back in the day when you could smoke I started public, playing so. around with a few different like papers and stuff that I've got. I did this one using just, you know, rather than doing the, because these are, they look so pretty. These, I think they call them chrysanthemums, but they're ever so fiddly. And once you start to go smaller than this, they get almost mm. impossible to fold. Especially you need a with very fine papers. paper, wouldn't yeah. you? Yeah, proper origami paper. And I really wanted to use the paper I've, I've got. There's no reason why you couldn't just fold one together with just like, Copy paper, mm. jelly prints would be brilliant to do with yep, jelly prints. Yep. Um, uh, this one was done with gift wrap. Nice. Yeah. Oh, by the way, we can get away with occasionally insulting Gabby because her headphones keep not working. Because um, <laughs> I know yeah. how much you love to insult. Have a sweet more Gabby. chocolate. It's Maybe not a disaster, start, is it? Yeah. <laughs> start Advent early. Yeah. yeah. That sounds. Per In fact, I think we could start like a birthday advent. Have it for the whole of your birthday month. Mm -hmm. Start it like thirty-one days Why exactly one before month? your birthday. <laughs> because just, I mean, keep going all year round. Because you'd have to have. It would be such a huge book, so you've got to keep it to thirty-one. No, just keep buying more chocolate. Don't bother the book. <laughs> just keep eating chocolate every day. I don't see the problem here. So yeah, I I was, I actually, funnily enough, I'd made a book like this for Trina mm -hmm. and she said to me like last time she came around she said oh you know that book you made me I use that all the time you should do a video about that and I've been thinking oh yeah that'd be oh mum I do that mm -hmm. and then I got this in the post as a complete surprise nice. from Sue and I was so thrilled to bits with it because I know how much work goes into into this and I will use it and I'm with I'm with Peepee here Christmas is about food it Never is. mind all this family nonsense. <laughs> You're supposed to enjoy the food with the family, but you know, uh, <laughs> it depends on the family. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> Although, to be fair, it does mean that the food ends up a problem as well. Uh, You've seen her Yorkshire puddings. I made a lovely dinner today. She he did, never tells yeah. you about the lovely dinners that I To made. be fair, I do tell him about the lovely dinners that you make. You just don't remember those bits. No, I just choose to remember the nasty bits. Right. Mm. So I have got... I, I'm using this as my reference, although I've so got the method in my head, hopefully I won't need to refer to it now. But this is such a blimming good little tutorial. Mm, if, if people wanted to get a hold of a copy of this tutorial... Well, that's what I was coming to. We have put we have put a link to that PDF in the um, mm. and it was Paula somebody Versnick, Paula Versnick, I think, just to give her credit where it's due because that is such a well set out PDF. And um, so we've put that in the description box yeah. for this live stream. I suppose we didn't need to look. It is written on the sheet, isn't it? <laughs> Paula Versnick, yes, it yeah. is. And, um, and I followed a video tutorial as well. So my video I did the other day, I was following it. And I linked in that as well. So, yeah. so while we're chatting, I'm just going to start folding. Yeah, I don't eat chocolate every day, unfortunately. I'd love to, but I hardly I would ever lose eat chocolate feet. these days. Um, yeah. So I have started with a 28 centimetre square. No, it's not a thin paper. Because this one isn't such a delicate. But that's cover, okay because it's just going to be the cover, so it's all yeah. right. If anything, you want that to be yeah. sturdier. Because so basically, you just start with your biggest square, divide that into four, and you need four square pieces. Then you divide again. You divide each of them in half and end up with eight pieces this shape. And then the very top layer, where I've done just straight and my beautiful one from Sue was. 
the chrysanthemum flowers. You yeah. need 16 for that for the size. Whiskey will suffice, people. Box I'm going to make. It's a good replacement for chocolate, I assume. <laughs> yeah. Whiskey can be, can have a bit of a chocolatey thing to it to me. Some of it's quite to smooth me, it and you've almost like got a vanilla y thing to it. <laughs> yeah. I quite like the, when you get the, um, Stout type beers that I've described as chocolatey, I like them as well. It's what was it you had recently that you that was described as chocolatey, some kind of alcoholic thing? Was it? The... It was a chocolate liqueur that I got oh, John for Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe yeah. is that what you? I know what I was thinking of. Yeah, I've got alcohol-free Guinness in my head, but I don't think that was the chocolatey thing. Alcohol-free um, Guinness is brilliant. Yes, I know you enjoyed that. Yeah. yeah, I totally wouldn't have guessed it was alcohol-free either. Totally no. not. I'm not going to explain what I'm doing because the tutorial will do that and I've done a video just recently. Mm. I'm just having this as something to do while we're chatting. What's everybody else doing? Uh, Sylvia can't see the link in the description of this video. I might have oh. put it in there wrong. It's possible. Uh, um, or because we only put it in at the last minute, yeah, it, um, as PP says, it might be worth just refreshing. Possibly, yeah. To see if it's if it's now loaded. <laughs> Believe it or not, this was all a bit last minute. Surely not. I know, it's hard to imagine. Mm. <laughs> okay, it is in there. Good, good. Fab. Having a bagel. Oh, I don't have a bagel often, but I do like a bagel. Oh, I like a bagel. Mm. I wish I got around but, to trying that massive bagel shop when I lived in Golden Yeah, Green. that was the place to, yeah. to get a bagel, wasn't it? Phoebe lives in New York, so that's also a good place to get bagels, I imagine. Uh, oh, hang on, I've missed the fold. I've missed the fold. Oh, you said you had the uh, method down. <laughs> that's because I'm chatting. To all, guys. That's because I'm chatting. I don't think you, sh you should probably all unsubscribe since she's lying to you <laughs> like that. <laughs> I know I would if I was subscribed. <laughs> Oh, look at the tiny angry hobbit. I'm not I'm not rising to his bait. <laughs> Although if you're going to you'd have to rise. Yeah. <laughs> Punch my beard off. Uh, <laughs> what are you having with your bagel? PB? Oh, I wish you could send some. Yeah, cream cheese. Yeah, That's my yeah. favourite way to have a bagel. Yum. They're funny things. Like, aren't they like they're boiled, aren't they? Don't they boil or steam them? I believe there's like they boil it in a lye solution. That sounds to form the, gross, the crust or something. It? Yeah. I mean, a lye so lye. You can kill people with that, can't you? Oh, you can kill people with water. That's true. Yeah. That is true. <laughs> Peepee's observant, at least. <laughs> what? Uh, briefly, this had happened. Yeah. It's not. Don't encourage him. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> not big, not clever, not funny. How are you going to Devon? They'll do the scones wrong. You need to go to Cornwall, apparently. Yeah. They'll put the jam and cream, the cream in the right, right way around, yeah. <laughs> it makes a massive difference. I tell you what I love that you don't, you so rarely see, but as well as scones, it's also, there's another tradition to have them with, like what in, when we lived in Devon, we used to call splits, which were kind of like a more of a sweet bread than mm. a scone. And I much prefer them to scones because scones can have that kind of thing if there's too much baking powder. They can be a little bit, yeah. Yeah. And well, the, not the ones that I made, though. The more bready thing. I like, I, I, I like, you know, I prefer sort the thing of... The about making scones is... <laughs> he did make absolutely, it really annoyed me, as you can imagine. It's the first time I'd ever made them and she was so angry. He made excellent scones. I mean, very, you punched very me for annoying. drawing that spaceship last week. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and she said something as well that I can't repeat on this channel. I didn't manage, I didn't manage to have the time or the energy this time to join in with the inspired yeah. by... The time, or the energy, or the inspiration. I don't know. Yes, you have it been. Just... Uh, you've been rather busy lately. Arty wise, though, I've been just kind of bit bereft. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like I said at the time, though, there's no point trying to force yourself to be creative if no. you can't do it. No. Because you're just going to upset yourself. And I, yeah. what everybody else did was amazing. Like completely yeah. different takes on on the idea, as always. Yeah. 
It's always nice seeing these completely different things, but it's still yeah. very much that artist's style. Yeah, it's always yeah. fun. Gabby surprised me this time by doing digital. Mm. I've never seen you doing digital before, Gabby. Yeah. I was well impressed. Although, no, I have, because she shows animations and stuff that she's done like years ago. Before yeah. everybody was doing it, I think. So, yeah. But it's she's not something she's Digital animation really... hipster. <laughs> yeah. She did it before, it was cool. But even then, it was still very much Gabby style. You yeah. Know? Yeah. Tori did when with like reading the future from tarot and did like felted uh, not felted felt stitched um kind of like post like cards like tarot cards yeah, but, yeah. yeah. i like the idea of you know tarot i don't believe in it myself but i like you know that it matches future if you do believe in it it's, yeah, yeah. yeah 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 clever a clever yeah, different take on future i suddenly realized afterwards yeah. when i couldn't think of any ideas for what i wanted to do that i thought I had the capability to do or the yeah. energy to do I suddenly thought afterwards hang on a minute I could have just gone completely 3D and, uh, and made a I've got all the stuff to make a, a robot out of junk yes you've been planning on doing that for ages for haven't ages you? yeah um, well, I sent all the stuff to Johnny as a new word box so I kept yeah. an identical box for myself mm. I could have done that you could why didn't I think of it I did start doing a 3D thing myself, as in 3D on the computer. Yeah. And then it crashed and I lost all my work and I couldn't be bothered anymore. And it was anymore. so lovely. <laughs> that car you were doing was lovely. Yeah, it was going to be like an Art Deco-inspired, mm. futuristic flying hover car stroke spaceship thing. That's a lot of work Because, of course. <laughs> <laughs> you just needed your finger to finish it. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose another thing you could have done is an art prompt for future is just get AI to do it for you that's the future of that's art true. Yes. <laughs> let's not go down uh, that road let's, let's go down that road I'm a huge AI fan I think AI yeah, can do a lot for us it's a very useful tool yeah and it's no worse than using photo references or any other kind of reference we might as long as you still inject your own creativity into yeah. it if you're just typing in a lazy prompt and, and then trying to sell up. the result yeah i that's... mean for a start good luck usually the result without any kind of yeah uh, tweaking is it's garbage not all that impressive anyway um, yeah but if you're using yeah. it as a reference to inspire your own creativity then i see nothing wrong with <laughs> it it's especially useful in like 3d well it's because creating reference for doing 3d stuff for games and the like sometimes you need something very specific and there just isn't yeah. reference art for that unless you've got a good concept artist who can yeah draw it for you it's quite hard to find when i was drawing dragons last year finding a reference you know you can't find a photo of a it's dragon it doesn't exist yeah they don't exist so i used a mixture of photos of lizards and cats for the eyes and what else yeah. did i use i think there were three different things i used um what's the other thing yeah Lizards, cats, and some other kind of animal to get all of the kind of. Did you use like a Komodo dragon or something? I would have counted that as lizard. Yeah, I suppose that would have been yeah. a lizard. Would be to me anyway. Yeah. Probably something. I'd happily call that a lizard. Yeah, probably Depending something else completely, completely different, like a like a rhino or something for the yeah. you know. Apparently, you did their own number of legs there, so. <laughs> yeah. Get good. <laughs> yeah, I did. I posted a picture of my job. Or did I actually show creating the artwork? I can't remember now where that came up. Yeah. But somebody helpfully left a comment that I'd I'd actually drawn a dragon with the wrong number of legs. She said that like it should have had what did she say it should have had? Mine had I don't remember if yours had four or two, but apparently yeah. according to her it was wrong. Dragons was don't wrong. have that number. Yeah. And then several of us immediately jumped to your defence saying, Well what kind of dragon? Because yeah. it was a Chinese dragon. <laughs> number one, dragons aren't real, so yeah. hey, improve it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Number two, well, actually, there is even a completely legless dragon. I can't yeah. the name of it now. Yeah. But like one of these worm-type dragons, you know, so like... Yeah. <laughs> I think she meant well, though. You know, bats just... for wings might have been good reference, yeah. Ah, yes, that was it, it was bats. Yeah, yeah. you're right, totally right, yeah. Yeah, there is some... There's definitely some overlap in tastes when it comes to German and British cuisine. Probably because of the overlap, overlap in climate and ability yeah. to grow. And what, what we can grow and the need to keep yeah. warm in the winter in the days when we had to keep yeah. warm in the winter and yeah. work hard for our living, which we don't now. Although there's also there's bad things in any cuisine. Mm. Um, like what's German that, bread. What's that German thing? Like just raw mints on bread. I forget what that well, is. But we have 
um, well, no, we don't. It's French, isn't it? Steak tartare, which I love. Yeah. Just raw mince. No, you're Steak right. tartare is raw mince, really. Basically. Yeah. With a raw egg yolk. I, I don't care what country it's from, it. but it's. <laughs> does that just it. mean meat bread, PP? <laughs> <laughs> I don't speak German. That but. must be the stuff that you're talking about. The, the yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I assume so. I loved. Um, um, I love um, German bread, German sausage, and I love sauerkraut. They do bread and sausage Absolutely very well. Absolutely yeah. love sauerkraut. I also think yeah. in, in Poland we had lovely bread, sausage, and Again, they didn't call it sauerkraut, but they have another kind of. Um, it's these similar cuisines where cabbage, you thing. know they're having to pickle things keep, to keep warm, preserve, to preserve them. What, yeah. yeah. It's a climate thing, yeah. really. Yeah. Raw pork mince, often with chopped onions. Sort of, I don't mm. care what they're mixing into the raw pork mince. <laughs> I can still remember the first time I made myself try sushi, raw fish. Mm. And I'm thinking, oh God, I'm going to make myself try this because I always say I will try anything once thinking I was going to hate it, but it was absolutely delicious. Yeah, unfortunately, any kind of rare meat... I don't, it's something about the texture just, it's probably an autism yeah. thing um, it probably is isn't it yeah but you're equally the same if you suddenly get some kind of tough on, uh, the if tiniest, some, anything unexpected in the yeah. texture will suddenly the rest of the whole meal yeah. is poison <laughs> <laughs> everything comes out <laughs> yeah <laughs> very frustrating because it's also frustrating because it's temporary I could finish the rest of the meal sometimes yeah. <laughs> it's like yeah. yeah, it's a bit embarrassing if you're out, isn't it? Oh, it's even more embarrassing. <laughs> when we used to go to see Sally for lunch. Oh, she cooks she such cooks lovely so well, food. She cooks so makes this beautiful food, and then it's like, no, can't sorry, let her <laughs> think that she's done something wrong here because she'd be devastated if she thought yeah. her food was making me vomit. Well, you thought you didn't like lamb, but she cooked lamb once, and then you ate it just to be polite, and you really liked it, didn't you? Well, maybe I just don't like lamb the way you cook it. <laughs> I walked straight into that, didn't I? Luckily, I'd had Yorkshire puddings for all like those. You under. are such a pig. She really is a very good cook. I hate you. Don't know why I think I want you to come I over. Know, I really insane. don't. No, I've and doing and yeah, PP, well. the, the invasion might have something to do with it, but you know, yeah. the climate thing is definitely. Yeah, I mean, I think we definitely, yeah. as a country, we've absorbed a lot of different cultures of food mm. over the centuries. It's such a little yeah. country, and we've been invaded a few times, haven't we? And invaded other places. And invaded other places, yeah. and brought stuff yeah. back with us. Um, yeah, we invaded so much of the world because we were starving. <laughs> yeah, that's what it was. Yeah. That's what drove the British Empire. <laughs> the boring food that we grew It was greed, not for wealth, it was for food. Yeah. <laughs> we were sick of parsnips. <laughs> yeah, which is fair. Parsnips are awful. I no parsnips. parsnips. I can't eat them. Even it's the smell like unnecessarily of unnecessarily slightly no. sweet wood. Why? Yeah, no. Get no. out. No. It, they, they've got a weird smell. Yeah, chemically yeah, yeah. smell to me it's really strange got, it smells He's like not something funny or big or clever <laughs> it smells like they, something's wrong with them like they've gone off hey already. Kel I miss Kel Kelsey <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there, there was a lot of thievery that went on yeah uh, yeah on both sides <laughs> but when you look at what is, has been voted the our national favourite dish now I think fish and chips is still up there but also Balti and thick, chicken you know, tikka masala, chicken and stuff, yeah. Yeah. which was invented in Scotland. <laughs> it's not even an Indian it, thing. Yeah. yeah. Although I, I believe it was invented by someone who had an Indian restaurant for the tastes of people in Scotland. Yeah. Apparently. Oops. <laughs> Just putting that to remind me in case I forget. But apparently, we don't use any spices in any of our cooking. So. <laughs> We love spices. <laughs> I've got a massive... I've got a whole... Well, a whole cupboard, kind of... Um, I don't know how to say how big it is. How big is my, my spice cupboard that's entirely spices? It's Ooh, like half the size know, of a normal kitchen unit. It's probably half that size mm, length yeah. size. That's and that, and it's got three shelves, and that's entirely crammed with spices, which I use all the time. Yeah. And then there's another cupboard, another shelf on the top you of got, it, yeah, with, yeah. with the refills. In and the then there's corner a, one. Yeah. Yeah, and then there's another one again that's got all the things like fish sauce, balsamic vinegar, mm. um, sesame oil, 
all those kind of things yeah. that come in bottles um, and, and mustard and things like that are all in there. So basically I've got <laughs> and that goes across to it. So I've basically got the equivalent of three cupboards full of spices and uh, condiments and things, haven't I? Yes. And I can't yeah. imagine... <laughs> Can you imagine the days before we had all that, before you even would have had salt all yeah. the time? Well, I mean... If you were poor. Yeah, there's a reason that what you get paid is called a salary. People, soldiers used to get paid in salt, didn't salt, they? Yeah, salt, yeah, worth a, worth a yeah. salt. Yeah, salary literally comes from... We've got Kel here. Kel, Kel C, um, if you're interested in... Should we show the cross-stitch again? For oh, anybody people who's... Have, people have... Uh, have uh, pointed that out already. Oh, she's already tapped we, we can show it again yeah. anyway. Yeah, um, let's, let's show it again just for... Yeah. And yes, you have mostly just missed me being mean to the Hobbit. Yeah, I've uh, been patting her head, insulting her cooking. You didn't miss kind of much. <laughs> I can't remember how this goes. I, I literally can't remember how this goes now. I'm making it up as a go. What you need is some kind of PDF guide. That... I know, but I'm too busy talking to follow anything. Excellent. So right, there we go. After people let Kel know how to join, the bot has told. <laughs> good, um, good timing. Thanks, bot. If anybody, if we <laughs> missed anybody else. Yeah, yeah, it will remind people them. every few minutes. Yeah. Oh, second language thing is kicking peepees, but yeah, it must be tiring. Um, yeah, and when you what you meant when you you put vowel shift like that, peepee, it was close enough. And in your defence, we spell vowel in a ridiculous way. It should be spelled the way you tried. <laughs> yeah. Look I'll at the way we spelled plough. We, I'll tell you what, like, it, it, it's shameful, really, how little we speak other people's languages. As PP apologising yeah. for his English and, like, how much German can I speak? Yeah, it's nice yeah. that there's enough of a shared root that I could tell that what he was calling that dish was basically meat. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. Which again might have something to do with the invasions, but uh, <laughs> yeah, that's why English is such a mess of a language because it's just a combination of the various languages of the people that invaded us. Yeah, mm. there's a facet. Well, I find him fascinating. Maybe uh, maybe it's the autist thing again. But um, yeah, there's a guy called Simon Roper on YouTube. If you're interested at all in watch, the origins yeah. of language, um, I mean, he's primarily he's talking about the roots of our language but yeah he's he connects with other people all over europe um occasionally just need to do those kind of combined videos where they talk about how language evolved and I see i can quickly absolutely fascinating for people fascinating if you you know <laughs> you've got yeah, if you don't care about language stuff, you'll find <laughs> yeah. it very boring. I'm always fascinated to know <laughs> where... You might want to give them a try anyway. It's quite interesting. Yeah. I didn't go looking for this stuff, but I enjoyed it. Yeah. And then there's also all the things... No. No, that's not him. Um, well, Where's Paul name, Roper though? coming up? Oh, that's what I typed. What was it? I forgot. Oh, it's Simon Roper. Simon, OK. Yeah, that might explain why the one I don't know where Paul came from. That's the guy. Um, yeah, and he just thinks like he'll have a whole conversation, like it's sometimes a rope of friend in, and they'll have a conversation a of, of mm. how like a couple of guys would have been talking to each other in a pub mm. in in the eighteen fifties, and yeah. and then how it oh yeah, it's, it's just it's fascinating to watch. It's a real rabbit hole. Even if you don't think that kind of thing would be interesting to you, yeah. give them a brief go anyway. Yeah, you might be surprised. <laughs> yeah. Or you might think, what on earth are they talking about? Cul-de-sac in pyjamas are from India. See, cul-de-sac sounds like yeah. it's from France, doesn't it? Because it's French. Yeah. But. <laughs> and isn't, is veranda? I think veranda is. Yeah. Um, a lot of our languages come from other countries. A mm. lot of our languages come from things that phrases and things that we use all the time and come from Shakespeare. We, we're all quoting Shakespeare. Yeah, it's amazing how much it. stuff... Yeah. Just... A lot comes from horse racing. Mm -hmm. That's another... Mm -hmm. um, look at that. I've managed to do this despite myself. <laughs> I am very impressed. I am impressed. I can't have enough pieces for two whole friend books. <laughs> I'm impressed with your confidence. It's not happening, is it? You're as confident as that uh, <laughs> Nigel Cheeseburg. Uh, 
Yes. Except oh. what you're doing isn't nonsense. Yeah. <laughs> We've been watching a whole lot of. Uh, I hope. Sense, people. I hope I don't need to um, apologise to anybody who might be a flat earther here. Cause <laughs> I, hope, I hope we haven't got any flat earthers. But um, yeah, if you're a flat earther, you might want to stop you, listening for a few, you, few minutes. But uh, we've been amusing ourselves listening to or watching YouTube stuff about flat earthers mm. people who can genuinely believe that the idea of a spherical earth is a conspiracy theory well as the flat earthers will tell you they've got supporters all around the globe <laughs> <laughs> yeah let's not let's not yeah. risk causing offence by <laughs> now let's cause offence to flat earthers <laughs> Yeah. Rob Words is a brilliant YouTube channel. He talks about the etymology of words. That sounds good. Oh, yeah. that sounds like my kind of thing. Yeah. I'm just going to briefly go and put a search. Here's in Germany too. So, <laughs> is he German or is he a different? Is he a different nationality living in Germany? That's the kind of I love anything like that. Oh yeah, I've seen his videos before. He's good. Yes, I think you might have sent one to me before. Fact, like the YouTube's name been looks... pushing me to watch this one for ages. Yeah. That's yeah. a brilliant face he's making. <laughs> <laughs> That's the face we were making when watching Nigel. Uh, yeah. I found myself just like, you suddenly realise your face is going... <laughs> yeah. And you know. C squared, suddenly you have to draw that as a circle. Trying to work out it's what on earth. Does this guy really think what? One plus one is one, apparently, guys. Yeah. Because if you cut something in half and join it back together again, it's still one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, he used a magnet, but, like, it didn't have to be a magnet. He just likes magnets, I think. I well, apparently magnets are cold fusion, so... Yeah. Magnets are the, uh, the answer to um, sustainable energy. Yeah. Look, I've made one little square box. Like. Hey. <laughs> what I've earth is a flat earther? Four bigger square <laughs> boxes. Carl, you remember Seriously, if hundreds never heard of, of years them. ago when people thought the earth was flat? Some idiots still do believe that the Kill, earth is flat. you need to watch this. Yeah, some people genuinely believe that the whole idea of the earth being a globe... <laughs> <laughs> they think, they genuinely believe the earth is flat and they have some ridiculous ways to explain all the anomalies that would be involved in the earth being flat. They think yeah. that everything is revolving around us. I mean, so many of the uh, things they come up with... To like the sun sets because of perspective apparently how, how could that yeah. possibly work gravity you... is because the disc that we live on is moving up <laughs> constantly up <laughs> not only moving up constantly but accelerating mm. at 9.8 meters oh. per second squared don't know where it's going constantly. where it came from how fast must it be going by now oh just it's hilarious yeah. yeah, they are not smart people. You should definitely watch people debunking Flat Earth, though. Simon Dan, excellent channel. Sue. <laughs> Sue. Sue's here now, look. Oh, that must have been Sue interesting. Sue used to work with someone who... Oh, wow. Conspiracy ideologies. Yeah, that describes it very well. Oh, you're right, Kate. The moon is made of cheese. Yeah, not yeah. about cream cheese, but some kind of cheese, for sure. <laughs> Carried by elephants. <laughs> Uh, they say that's fake, Sylvia. No one's been to space, according to them. Those those photos are all CGI. And you, all, with as with any conspiracy ideology, yeah. you come back to the question: but why? Yeah, they can never answer why. Why, why would they go they to this? such lengths to set up this massive? Who stands to gain from this? Yeah, just oh god. There's a very good sketch, um, just like a series of sketches though. by uh, yeah. Mitchell and Webb. Where they're talking about various conspiracy things, and there's that one always says, just one question, why are we doing this? Yeah. And there's always things <laughs> yeah, like, well, it's, it's just the kind of thing that governments do, isn't it? It's yeah. nice to have secrets. I'm going to put one link in chat to one of my favourite channels that, that makes fun of and debunks flat earth stuff. nonsense. Yeah. We are um, finally oh, sorry, here, everyone. Playing the sixth. Um, but there are so many. Yeah, he's excellent. There's, there's loads of them. It's great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Sandy Kubrick made lots of money from the moon landing. Yeah. 
Yeah, the overall thing of that sketch of it is that uh, um, the easiest way to affect the moon landing would be to pop to the moon and fake it there. Because yeah. <laughs> it'd be cheaper than paying for cheaper catering. Cheaper than all that. Because <laughs> <laughs> they'd still have to build the rocket capable of flying to the moon. Yeah, yeah. So when people asked how they got there, they could say, on that big rocket you saw. Yeah. <laughs> Unbelievable. Why, why, just, why, yeah. why? Magnets are used in hot fusion, yeah. But not on their own. They don't just magically create this energy. Guy, <laughs> this guy seriously moved a magnet from one point on a whiteboard to another <laughs> and said that was demonstrating cold fusion. Because yeah, it defies gravity. <laughs> he also said a lot more ridiculous stuff than that, but he I just really can't remember did, it all yeah. now. Look up Nigel Cheese. I mean, I'm not, you know, I, I, I only have a, a very um, inept understanding of these things anyway. Tom's much more on it than I am, but... Um, you don't need to be very know, honest to see how stupid that is, do you? <laughs> yes, you, you know he's talking nonsense. And I know enough that I wouldn't presume to go on YouTube and <laughs> tell the point where he was debunking one of Einstein's theories and actually turned to the camera and went... Oops. Yeah. Like he'd proved a point. Like, oh, Oops. Einstein missed this. Oops. Not just Einstein, the entire scientific yeah. community. Yeah. <laughs> Physics is all wrong. Who and yeah, Kate, do cheese doesn't come from cows. Are. You get milkshake from cows, you just got to wobble it really hard. <laughs> it's not good for the cow. <laughs> oh, it, it yeah. is a. It's a massive rabbit hole, the whole flat earth thing. Yeah. But it's hilarious to. Yeah. Yeah. And some of the flat earthers, I think, are just doing it for. They, they don't really believe it. They just YouTube get a lot of views. views and, or yeah, it's great. Good for them. But some of them, you can tell they do believe it. And they're just. Or they're the best actors ever. Well. And deserve yeah, to. Yeah, they can to... make more money acting, surely, yeah. than YouTube. Yeah. Chicken cow syndrome. <laughs> 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 Oh. oh, that's just reminded me. Oh, dear. It's a, a weird link, but talking of cows. Um, is your mind doing a weird link? It is, yeah, weirdly enough. Do you guys remember the um, cereal and milk bars? I think they were Kellogg's. Don't remember, it doesn't matter. But Vaguely. They had the um, very, stere a very stereotypical representation of Arnie. Um, it was a cow called Uda. As in, like, udder? Yeah. And this cow would go, milk it, and Ew. spray milk at a, a bar. But they kept referring to this cow as he, which means that wasn't milk that cow was spraying on those cereal and milk bars. It had a device connected to its udders, but I don't think... <laughs> ah, I've just done this wrong. <laughs> which is... Mm. Yeah, Sylvia remembers that advert. <laughs> Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'll just have normal cereal, thanks. <laughs> I do sometimes disturb myself thinking about milk and the fact that we drink milk and, like, what it's made yeah, for and it's stuff. It's a little bit gross, isn't it? And, oh, well, I, to but. be fair, I don't. I very rarely buy milk or use milk. But what I would miss is butter and cheese. <laughs> yeah, and if I must drink milk, I'd rather it came from a female cow than a bull. That is definitely true. Given a choice, we're not going to go any further with that. <laughs> uh, exactly, Leslie. <laughs> I've I've lost myself here. This cereal takes a bit funny. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy. <laughs> yeah, I want to make such can dirty we, jokes. Can we but... change the subject now? <laughs> Thank you. you. See, that's a good point, Peepy. What were the first humans doing when they stole milk from a cow? Yeah, how did that. Um... Well, the first person to eat cheese is like, mm, this milk's gone solid. Yeah. I'm hungry, I'll have it. Yeah. But, if, you know, if you think about how did we discover bread, yeast, bread, yeah. you know. Usually, by also yeah. starvation would be a very big motivator to eat food that has otherwise, in yeah. some way, gone wrong. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I'm starving to death. I may as well eat this. Oh, actually, yeah. that's pretty good. <laughs> How can I make that happen again? 
first person to eat an, oyt- an oyster. Well, if you're really hungry and you mm. really like licking snot off a rock. Uh, I love smoked oysters. Very nice. And I do eat other raw fish, but not... Um, <laughs> I'm totally losing the plot here. <laughs> it does look like snot. And from what I've heard, mm. it feels similar sliding down the throat. Don't. But it, they are lovely smoked. I'd rather have your toad in the hole. Although, <laughs> I did enjoy that perfect toad in the hole. Yeah, I mean, that's a I've very wet break. I completely lost myself here. Look, I have folded this into so many squares, it's ridiculous. <laughs> I think I might have got somewhat distracted. <laughs> I'm going to start yeah. another one and follow the thing this time. I think I started following this and, and I shouldn't have well, it hurt the bigger one, so I've gone wrong. Yeah, to be she... fair, I'm not giving it much. Um, so no. I can sit in front of Doctor Who and just fold these without even thinking about You're it. You're not talking to Doctor Who, hopefully. No. <laughs> David is behind you. <laughs> I've been watching the entire, all, all of the available episodes of Doctor Who on BBC iPlayer, which goes right back to 1963. It only doesn't have those early ones that that guy won't release because his granddad wrote it or something. Um, Yeah. And I'm now, I've gone past David Tennant even now. I'm now on to, is he called Matt something? Matt Smith. Matt Smith. He grew on me. Didn't like him at first because he was immediately after David Tennant, but he's all right. Funny enough, most of them grew on me as I went through Mm. watching them all again. They all had something about them I liked, except for that, there was that one who had the blonde curly hair. Oh, the punchable one. Well, I'm not sure if you mean... I oh, know, I'm thinking of the other blonde You one. mean He's the punchable. vet guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Even he grew on me in the end. Yeah. But that the one that came after him, no, I didn't take to. Hmm. Mr Pertwee? He was your yeah. favourite? I loved, I loved John Pertwee's Doctor Who, and I don't think I thought that at the time. <laughs> I think... Uh, yeah. yeah. There's some very good vegan stuff. The main reason I couldn't go vegan is cheese. Yeah. They still haven't made acceptable vegan cheese, in my opinion. Unfortunately, most of the vegan cheese still tastes like rancid coconut. Mm. They get the texture right, and the initial... They're yeah, definitely getting better the texture and the melting and stuff. The, the, yeah. the first... We had some... Um, or I had some... I had some brie and had some feta substitutes. And the initial mouthfeel and taste hit I thought, blimey, this is and then amazing. The and then of whoop, rancid no, coconut. rancid mm. coconut's back. Yeah. 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 We're, we're going to try, we're going to meet up with Claire mm. soon. So I don't know if Claire, Claire sometimes watches but can't comment. So she might be here and she might be watching. If you're watching, us. hi. Hi, Claire. <laughs> we're meeting up with Claire in Cambridge soon. Mm. And um, her partner is, I don't know if he's vegan or veggie, so we've been looking for places we can eat. There's one near the station called, what was it called, Stem and Glory. Yes, I think so. Tell you what, the menu looks amazing. Mm. And I do like, I, I do like veggie, I love mm. my vegetables, I love veggie mm. food. Would be the top result when I was searching for vegetarian restaurants in that area, was a steakhouse. Yeah, that was interesting, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It's, um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, people, oh, most vegan dairy, they haven't quite... I don't... Yeah. I've got an oat milk in a carton that I've got at the moment, and that I only had good, it... Yeah. yeah, I only had it because Sainsbury's were doing oh, it They do freebie. those freebie things occasionally, don't they? Yeah, yeah so yeah. I tried <laughs> it, and... For... I mean, I don't... Like I say, we don't, we don't use... I don't have cereals. John doesn't have cereals. I don't have milk in tea or coffee or anything like that. Yeah. So we don't have it a lot. I would only use it for things like cheese sauces and that. And for stuff like that, it's fine. It does... Also, oat milk mm. tends to have a longer shelf life than... The milk milk. Than cow milk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mr. Baker's scarf. Tell that you what, was quite a scarf. I had it? forgotten how much it dragged on the floor. That was really irritating me by the end. Yeah, but... Everybody, I wonder how many scarves Everybody went loves David Tennant. Yeah. Gabby, except me. I immediately liked me. Peter Capaldi. Yeah, Scottish I liked him. Guy. I liked him. He, he, yeah, he was. Yeah. Unfortunately, there was some bad scripting in his series. Yeah, at times that wasn't his fault. But what I but, hadn't realised mm. was he appears before he t- appears as Doctor Who. He appears as a Roman. He does. Yeah. Uh, I don't With remember David if they Tennant. did explain that. I think they did make some reference to it, but yeah, I'm just in case spoilers, anybody noticed. But, yeah. Yeah, try not to do too many spoilers because she's watching through ones you haven't seen. Granny Sue's got a half finished Tom Baker scarf. Oh. 
Ooh. A half finished Tom Baker scarf is a fully finished normal scarf. <laughs> <laughs> For me, a normal one would probably be like a Tom Baker one because it would drag on oh, the floor. True, yeah. See, I don't even need to make Hobbit checks. I'm going to anyway. I'll do it at myself. <laughs> <laughs> not funny, not big, <laughs> not clever. How does one milk a note? <laughs> yeah, it is difficult. You've got to catch them unaware. <laughs> I did read somewhere that um, there's a concern that with everybody who was demand for oat milk and different nut milks and things, mm. that there would be a whole different kind of environmental impact, you know. Yeah. But then they can't, They say that, you know, if you're talking about things like greenhouse gases and, and all of that, it's still it's still better than keeping animals yeah. to provide. Also, <laughs> at the risk of getting back into the filth ter- territory, mm. we've got to not call it nut milk. <laughs> Can you stop? For goodness sake, Carl. It's Gabby's influence. Gabby. Don't she didn't say anything, but it's still her fault. It's because Gabby's here. She's yeah. just rude. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's always going on about nut milk and nut butters. It's like, come yeah. on, stop it. <laughs> you must hear how that sounds. You had a, a porridge <laughs> thing the other day with almond butter, yeah. didn't you? It was alright. Yeah. <laughs> I just wouldn't eat porridge. I'd rather eat sick. <laughs> no, I wouldn't, I wouldn't actually rather no. eat sick. <laughs> no one dislikes it's, porridge that much. It's almost equivalent. Ugh. I haven't eaten it since mm. I was a kid and I was forced to eat it. So. Is it because you're a bit of a Londoner? You're worried about doing Maybe porridge. it's because I'm a Londoner. <laughs> <laughs> oh, crimp. I love London town. <laughs> uh. Maybe it's Maybelline. <laughs> Where did that one come from? <laughs> Everybody I think you're knows maybe born it's with Maybelline. It. <laughs> True. Yeah. And I, I definitely see how that was relevant. <laughs> Semolina was worse. I'll give you uh, that. Yeah. No, it's not worse than porridge. <laughs> you sure? Tapioca. I <laughs> see tapioca. I'm not so bad with. Oh God, really? Yeah. But then you like that bubble tea, and that's a bit like exactly. tapioca I mean, in a drink. It's isn't tapioca it? pearls in the thing, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. I think it's because in tapioca the lumps feel more ne- sort of intentional. <laughs> so the texture's okay because they're meant to be there. <laughs> they're chewing. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Cal thinks you're on the gin. No, she's just insane. I'm not. I haven't actually got a glass of wine there, but I haven't touched it, have I? Now, no. that is what... That is how simple the rectangle box is supposed to be. Right? Yeah, if you don't fold it yeah. unnecessarily. What I did was fold every single <laughs> possible fold. You Isn't gave it a right good This folding. one's going to have a lot of extra <laughs> squares in it. <laughs> you pie and mash girl. She'd be pie and mash girl she could get it around here. Oh, yeah. You're thinking of having some delivered, weren't you? Pie and mash and liquor. Yeah. You can get the traditional East End pie and mash shops do what uh, what what they call liquor with it, which is like a like a thin parsley sauce, really. Yeah. That you have instead of like you would have gravy. Yeah, it's like made with a fish stock and yeah, stuff. Yeah, traditionally yeah. anyway. I don't know how many of the pie shops Pro- They always have anymore. a secret family recipe, which is probably yeah. the same. Um, but yeah, I would love. So, to, you can get it delivered like they like, do it in a cool box. I knew you were going to do that, PP, because uh, I was that? thinking the same thing. <laughs> a liquor? I barely even knew it. Oh, stop <laughs> it! Uh, talking of just to bring it back <laughs> to less filthy topics, yeah. talking of pie and mash, there's an excellent Greg Davies stand-up bit where he's talking about a taxi driver who gets very angry because he says, you know. It's not just pie they put in those pies. <laughs> and, and Greg gives very because pie is not an ingredient. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Has everybody joined the uh, giveaway that wants to enjoy? Yes, make sure you join. join. Um, can you hold your liquor, love? Uh, it's, it's, really <laughs> it's really nice that um, you're just weird, Kerry, but then... <laughs> <laughs> Aren't we all? Porridge is good. It's really nice that um, Sue has done that prize because we, we, yes. we passed 5k, I just we've been we? on the prize thing for ages rather than it. the close-up. But no. Oh, yeah, nobody cares about what I'm doing anyway. No, you certainly well, don't seem I to. Certainly don't. <laughs> <laughs> this is going very well. There's something very therapeutic about doing this, though. When you're You've not being four distracted. Four minutes left in the stream. <laughs> you no, you, you didn't make me look. No. 
<laughs> Although I can't believe an hour has gone. I can easily because of all the stuff you've. Oh, you know, can I? <laughs> I've done four square boxes, one rectangular box, one small square box. Yeah, actually. Actually. And she's going to get t- through two whole kits during this time. Yeah. My plan is that I will put. I'm going to make fabric. Uh, kind of wraps for these. So I think traditionally they would put another paper wrap around this. So have we got some handy? Yeah. So um, I've also got my other set of papers that I'd got. Um, where is it? You lost it. You lost it years ago. It's a set of paper. Oh, there. It's there. The ones you've got. I've got these all wrapped. This was wrapping paper that Tom got. Um, yeah. So I scrounged the rest of the roll. And it's really nice because it's a good thickness for folding. And because it's got this lovely green kind of interesting texture on one yeah. side. But it's got the black on the other, so that's quite nice. Um, but because it's on but. a roll and it's that kind of paper, it holds the roll really too much. Yeah. I've got it all kind of reversed. So and, right pain in that. Yeah, trying to encourage it to flatten out a little bit. Yeah, wrapping your stuff with it. Mm. Yeah, but yeah, the idea is that um, traditionally they put these kind of paper covers on it, so they would probably paste this on. I suppose so. Yeah. Um, but if you really like the decorative paper, you could just paste the, the back of it. But I'm going to make a fabric cover for some of them as well. Good plan. Yeah. Yes, yeah, nothing is good for you. Do you remember the um, when we went to? Was it Covent Garden Market we went to years ago when you were still living in London mm. and John and I came down to meet you and we went and we met that guy in that, he's, he was selling all the stuff. It was Indian either stuff. Covent Garden or Camden, wasn't it? Camden, it was yeah, Camden yeah. Lock Market. Yeah, yeah. And um, I don't know, I can't remember now how we got chatting. I think because I was buying some Indian block printing mm, things. Something like that, yeah. Yeah, and we were such, just sort of chatting about it. He seemed like a very nice man. Yeah, and at the time I was blogging, I wasn't even doing YouTube yet. Mm. But he said, oh, do you know... I don't know what to do with these. I can't sell them. I've been looking for, for like someone to give them to. You sound like the perfect person kind of thing. Can, can I give you these? Mm. And he gave me his whole pack of all these decorative papers. And I've still got lots of them. And I think this is one of them. Mm, it must be your hobbit powers or something. You encourage people to give you stuff. Give me some. <laughs> <laughs> I keep giving you a pat on the head. <laughs> I think he just... Because he said at the time, I can't bring myself to just throw them away. But like nobody wants to buy them. <laughs> so I said, all right then. But yeah, lovely and strong mm. enough to be, make quite a durable cover. Because they've got these, the old examples of these that they've still got in museums and stuff, go back hu- literally hundreds mm. of years. Um, yeah. And sometimes people recover them or mend them, you know. Yeah, oh. porridge is apparently good for the cholesterol. <laughs> so on. Uh, and I haven't glued this one together, so oh, it's still. Why have you messed Because traditionally up. you don't have to glue them together. Sue's the one Sue made me isn't glued together either. Give it your clumsy. And sometimes it's quite nice to be able to take them out. Like if you were going to store little beads or something, hmm. it would be quite nice to be able to just take it out yeah. and be able to dip it up instead of having to, you know. I suppose you could even have multiple of them so you could swap ones that you wanted yeah. to take with you. Or yeah, true, and slot them in. Yeah, yeah true. Yeah. Um, yeah, apparently porridge is good for cholesterol. It's, um, yeah. It was recommended that I start eating well, and then it turns out my cholesterol is up too low, not because of the porridge, because of the medication. Well, not too low. They don't mind it being low. Well, no, it was lower than the recommended thing. Yeah. Not enough that I'm going to die, but... But not enough know. that you have to keep taking the medication. Well, but, yeah, oats in any form actively reduce your cholesterol, yeah, which is brilliant. Which is cool. I love oat cakes, oat bread, mm-hmm. oat... Uh, oat the, so there's oat cakes like the crispy, like a biscuit, and there's yeah. oat cakes that are like pancakes. like pancakes, yeah. Who was it? It was somebody in Discord was showing them... Yes, who was that? Oh, was somebody, some, somebody, somebody up north, guys. Like, probably. Does sound likely, yeah. Yeah. It's the kind of thing northerners would do, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I love those kind of oat cakes, though. Yeah. They just look like pancakes, but they're more. They've got a nice flapjacks bite to them. Flapjacks also good. Yeah, flapjacks. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Anything oaty I like. Saw them live some years back. Who? Oh, disturbed. Mm. So it was Snoppy who was, she's given me some, um, it was you, wasn't it, Karen? Um, the disturbed version of Sound of Silence. Yeah. And a couple of other tracks she said I'd 
I should listen to as well, which actually I haven't got band to yet. But. It's about heavy metal well, musicians and fans. They insist on doing covers of everything all the time. It's but hilarious. then they just like when they do something yeah. like that and they do it so well, you oh, yeah. It's, I've noticed it in, in that genre more than any other. It's, there's always these. Maybe it's just to wanting an to thing. prove that you know they're not just all. Yeah, they're usually fairly good as well. Bad stuff. But yeah, it's just it seems a weird trend. Yeah. I don't mind it, but it's weird. Well, it's no so different. Sometimes you'll get classical musicians doing their kind of racy poppy stuff, won't you? Yeah, sometimes, you know, Same yeah. kind of thing, really, isn't it? It's just a lot less common in every other genre of music. Mm. Yeah, like I say, not a bad thing. Just something I've noticed. Some of them, though, are awful. Because there's awful examples of music in every genre. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is anybody yeah. else doing any crafting or arting? Oh yeah, I suppose we should check in the live stream follow along room, shouldn't we? Just in case. Just in case. Oh, no one's done anything. Boo. <laughs> we haven't told you to put anything in there yet, but you still haven't done it. Boo. <laughs> <laughs> should all be ashamed. If you're, if you're in the Discord and you're watching this, post a picture of what you. Yeah. What you're doing. Even if you just sat watching us with or your cat. Or the cat on your lap. Yeah. Or, yeah. <laughs> or I suppose if you've got a dog, you could post that too. All right, Ugh. I suppose we'll look at dogs. Yeah, all right. <laughs> but if you're a sensible person and you prefer cats, <laughs> we'd love to see it. If you're not in Discord, first of all, why not? Good question. But second of all, um, if you're in Facebook instead, you can post in the Facebook group, but we can't manage to look at that at the same time as streaming as well as yeah. just a bit too... Oh, Gabby's got to go feeding the zoo and cleaning the toilets. Lovely. Nice. Have a good time, yeah. Gabby. <laughs> Thanks for popping in. <laughs> <laughs> feeding the zoo. But you still have a new to the kids. Yeah, it's not the fact that they do covers, Peepy. It's the fact that they're doing covers of entirely different genres of music. Like, there's a lot of... Mm. Oh, we've done a heavy metal version of this thing that's very much not heavy metal. I would still argue but, that there's just as many classical musicians doing covers of pop stuff as there are... Not nearly as many. Uh, don't know. Can't prove it. That's just your I feeling. I could prove it. Go on, then. I challenge you. I can't you. remember streaming, but... Yeah. There's a lot of classical musicians doing covers of pop stuff. A lot. Mm. I'm not wrong. I'm, I'm not wrong, it's am it, I? Things just go over our head. <laughs> don't worry, these, these guys on the stream, they, they don't mind that you're wrong and stupid. <laughs> they already know. Did anybody believe I'd actually written that message myself in Discord <laughs> earlier on? But you did. Oh, we've got something coming in from uh, Snoppy and carry on. Hey! Oh, I recognise one of those fabrics. Mm, See that one there? Yeah. Recognise that. And that one. Nice, nice. Oh, wait, I recognise all of them. Of course I do, because it's the... <laughs> I thought you were making a joke. <laughs> no, I was serious. Oh, look, that looks familiar. Oh, yeah, I got that one as well. Not That's anymore. She's put the picture. Not anymore. <laughs> I want another look now. You can't see it yet. Mm. <laughs> Lovely. Yeah, one or two of those things do look familiar. Yeah, they do. <laughs> they do. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, big old blanket. Blimey, that's big. It is. Is that going to be like double bed size, Jen? Mm. Oh, look, I recognise those hands. <laughs> <laughs> It was that beaded idiot in the corner, <laughs> and the guy I've, sitting next to her. <laughs> I've so got my mother's hands. So I look at that. Just <laughs> <laughs> I took a while to it's think. Not even you. funny. Like whatever that awful joke I said earlier was. <laughs> Can't remember. Don't want to remember. Don't repeat it. It's probably rude. It was about the, so the sausages. <sighs> <laughs> um. 
<laughs> they were very patchy sausages. They were patchy. Oh, I remember now. A patchy. <laughs> a patchy sausage. They're patchy because I was dry frying them in a pan. Yeah. Um, and they got their sausages that have got apple in. Mm. So very obviously nice sausage. the apple parts were kind of browning quicker than the other parts, I guess. Yeah. Not funny at all. <laughs> it's like a, sub- a subconscious got the joke in stages because it couldn't handle the terribleness yeah. all at once. <laughs> I kind of laughed because I kind of, yeah, I thought, yeah. That's funny because it sounds like that. And then, oh, hang on a minute. Oh, God. Right, OK. <laughs> Shouldn't be laughing at that. <laughs> Last time, last few times you had sausages, the skins were so tough. Oh, really? That's a shame. Are you buying them from the same place you always did? Is that one? Do I, um... Did you buy a sausage that wasn't fully... Did, did you buy a whole pick by mistake? <laughs> You've that got would, to let them make the sausage thing. first. <laughs> <laughs> you must have patience. <laughs> I love a nice sausage. <laughs> do that <laughs> not a nasty so i don't love a nasty sausage though. Ugh, nothing worse Swear for someone to say bye in chat now <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> filth <laughs> if you try to add that as a quote <laughs> 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 the Germans love a good sausage as well. Yeah, they do. They do. They 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 make a good sausage. Yeah. I think we make a pretty good sausage as well, actually. Yeah, not bad. Yeah, love it. yeah a proper British banger. There's nothing wrong with yeah. a proper British banger. Apparently, not um, a double bed, just a single. Things Jen. Fair enough. Still pretty big though, isn't it? I tend to stick at the size of like um. You know, like what you call a lap blanket. Yeah. I've got a lot of those. I did make um like a queen size quilt, um crazy quilt, crazy quilt. I mean crazy quilt. Like I did them um, foundation piecing. No, hmm. what do they call it? Found- I used foundation by the yard as my base. It was the first time I had done anything like that, and it was all made out of old shirts and it was all blue and white basically nice. yeah mini yeah that's the one we still got on our bed now it's very serviceable as well we've gone back to we don't use quilts anymore we use sheets and blankets and when it's hot we just use a sheet when it's mm. cold we add an extra blanket i just don't feel the cold yeah you don't really so use anything I don't do bother you? too much yeah. no when it's hot i just sweat and die oh, it's so nice not to have the palaver of trying to put a duvet cover on anymore yeah when did we all you know we do remember when we all went over to duvets in the 70s it was suddenly it was the thing and now mm-hmm. that's what we Got all do French but, and fancy. but actually get the old dove it out sheets and blankets are, are kind of easy to manage and you can put we've got these little kind of lightweight mm. blankets you can just put the whole thing through the washing machine and dry it same day don't worry about the tog rating yeah and like getting a duvet washed is a pain in the hole bit yeah. of palaver Kel had sausages for dinner apparently or tea if you will nice you didn't have sausages while you are in the UK <laughs> mm. oh, don't get me wrong bad quality sausages are definitely available oh it's a shame because yeah I mean yeah. in 99 we'll be have had I think our sausages are better now but it needs mm. to be proper good sausages from a proper butcher not, not yeah, yeah, you yeah, know yeah, yeah. Or the expensive ones from the supermarket. Yeah, if you're buying ones you get like a thousand of them for a pound yeah. that you keep in the freezer. Those are going to be bad, believe it or not. But we don't do a lot of... I mean, maybe there are people in this country doing it now, but traditionally we don't do a lot of the kind of cured and smoked sausages that I love. No, they tend to just be sure. like seasoned raw meat. Yeah. I'm just to cook where is in... Mm. Germany and a lot of places we've been to in Eastern Europe we we really loved all their all the smoked sausages and, and smoked cheese. Oh. 
I love a Polish supermarket. Yeah, we've got a lot of Polish got good supermarkets there, yeah. here. I don't know if it's the same all over the UK, is it? Or is it have we just oh, got a lot? Of, they have a lot in London as well. Yeah, um, yeah. But yeah, I love um, a lot of the Polish foods. There's a, even a Polish section in the supermarkets near us as well, isn't there? And I always yeah. have a look there. Because I love some of the, the pickles and sausage and stuff. Oh, yeah. how embarrassing, Peepy. What's that? You were a 16 year old 25 years ago. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, same. <laughs> I was actually so pleased. This is so sad. I was relieved today. I can't think what I was signing up. Oh, it was that pharmacy thing. I need to tell you about the pharmacy thing in a oh, minute, yeah. remember? Um, oh, yeah. I was signing up for this pharmacy delivery thing and, um, and I had to fill in my age. And I was so relieved that I didn't, because it was like adult 18 plus or 65 plus brackets elderly. Ah, so you were just 18 plus. So I was luckily a couple of years off being called elderly. The worst thing for you... And I was relieved. Yeah. The worst thing for you, because it's annoying enough for me, is how far you must have to scroll down to select your year of yeah. birth. Yeah. Must take you forever. Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Get to a point where it'll just assume that you're not using it properly. Say, no, you've got to start your year of birth. <laughs> <laughs> not, not the year the Battle of Hastings happened. <laughs> Chill out. <laughs> yeah. What was it we came across yesterday? Something in the nineties. That is all. Well, that was the nineties retro. Yeah. And then you said, well, it was. So many years ago. Yeah, why are they putting it? current year at the top of the list, people? It's like, yeah, 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 I was born yesterday, as it happens, and I'm signing up for this website. Exactly. They should make them yeah. at the bottom, because by the time it they get to be filling mm. that thing in, they'll have come. Especially when it's a site where, like, you've it's a social media thing, you've got to be 13 years old to yeah, sign up. They then shouldn't then even be cut there. those 13 years off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, bloody web developers. I mean, don't get me started. I guarantee you the web developers would want to put that feature in, but mm. someone in marketing would say, oh, but we them. tested it and we couldn't put this year in. Yeah. Mm. If yes. Tom sounds a bit bitter there, well, it's because he's a bit bitter. Yeah, that would be it. <laughs> exactly, uh, PP. Yeah, exactly, and then that would cut down a lot of the scrolling for me. Not all, but <laughs> some. Look, I'm on a roll here, look. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. You're almost halfway through one of them. What I should have been bearing in mind, though, was... Uh, these oblong ones I need eight of, and I need to alternate them with the... Oh, uh, yes. I remembered just in time. Yes, yeah, Susie, I imagine nylon sheets would dry very quickly, but they'd also be very unpleasant. Yeah. I remember those nylon sheets. They were nylon fitted sheets. We had, them, we had uh, purple ones and orange ones. Needless to say, mm. this was late 60s, early 70s. It certainly would make your hair free. And my <laughs> poor sister went off to boarding school, um, and it was quite a posh boarding school that most people paid to go to, but she, it's because she passed her 11 plus, she had to go to, it was the only grammar school. So she got a free place, but of course she didn't get a free uniform or all the other things she was supposed to take. So yeah. bless her, she had nothing that all the other girls had. That and must it must have been very absolutely miserable for her. I don't want to make generalisations here, but the kind of people who would have been able to afford to go there might not have necessarily been the most accepting of someone. They weren't nice to her at all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And she and they were supposed to take their own. Amazing, really. You think sheets would be provided, but you were supposed mm. to take your own bed linen, and it was it was prescribed. You needed two pairs of white linen. Blah 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 blah. She got her purple and orange nylon fitted sheets. <laughs> oh, Can yeah, you imagine? That must have her gone life well must have been miserable. Uh, that must have been horrible, yeah. She used to phone and, pl and beg to come home. Yeah. I remember being really upset about it yeah. on her behalf at the time, but fell on deaf ears with mum again a bit, I think. But well, yeah. Now I've got myself confused. Plus, I wish you had better with you. <laughs> uh -uh. No. One, two, three, four. Oh, bugger. I folded one of those wall. Yeah, Carrie, I agree. I don't think they should be on social media that young either. But Yes, yeah, true. 
I don't think everybody agrees. Social media, really, <laughs> unless you count YouTube as social, social media. Social media's got a lot to answer for, hasn't yeah. it? It's caused a lot of horrible issues for people. Yeah. It's also done some amazing things, but yeah, it's brought all of us together. That is true. But I don't yeah. think any of us could really be considered children. Yeah. We already made all of our mistakes before social media <laughs> existed. <laughs> We're natural, free-range idiots. Oh, I'm very glad that um, my teenage years weren't captured on social media the way oh, teenage yeah. years are now. Yeah, all those embarrassing things just yeah. oh. captured forever. It's bad enough for me finding those logs of uh, chat room stuff from the CubeTubers days. Oh. <laughs> Obviously, I was older than a lot of them then. They all thought I was ancient. Yeah, which, you know, they were right. But to them, because yeah. they were like, yeah. But they were even more embarrassing than me. Because I'll see. There's a massive range of ages in that group, from like eleven, twelve, up to forty or fifty. Um, Which thankfully never actually caused a great deal of trouble. Yeah. Could have done if it was the wrong kind of people, though, couldn't it? I mean, th there was a little bit of that that we won't go into. Yeah. Ugh. But we were on it. Yeah. You just got to hope you've got enough good people there. There were, with their eyes there were on enough the ball. of us that had our <laughs> yeah. eyes out, and, you know, yeah. looking after the kids. Yeah. Um, but you've got to ask yourself, but, you know, if they were spending hours doing stuff like that, what did their parents think they were doing, you know? Well, I think it's very easy to use the internet as a babysitter, isn't it? Yeah. Even more so now than it was then. Yeah. Yeah, school wasn't a fun time for me. No. Um, it was not the best time of your life, was it? No. I, I hated it. Well, no, I loved parts of it. I loved the... You were you loved the swatty bits. Yeah. And yeah. I, like, I think because home life was so chaotic, I loved the stability of Imagine school, how much more you'd have loved it had you been able to be in one school the whole time. Yeah, that didn't help. But I, I actually liked the uh, the routine of mm, it. Yeah, the structure. Yeah, which we didn't really have at home. Mm. But what I couldn't bear and still turns my stomach over when I hear it in the distance now is like playtime oh, and PE and sound of playing children ooh, I can just it just brings it back and still feel myself it makes some people so happy that sounds yeah like, uh, to me I can still feel myself stood in the corner of the playground waiting for it to be over wondering what to do and feeling like everybody yeah. was staring at me horrible 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 that is lucky, PP, having friends in school. Yeah, I had maybe yeah. one, and he wasn't a very good one, frankly. Or two. Mm. Maybe two. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Three. Mm. I can count three that you actually brought home. Yeah, maybe. There's Ben. Phillips. Oh, yeah, yeah, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and, he was cool. Um, Daniel. Yeah, Warner. yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, now I've forgotten his name, but I can picture him. <sighs> I'm saying, I, my head is saying Leon, and I know it's not Leon. No. Leo. Yeah. Leo. What's he called? Anyway, there was another, I can picture him. Come back to me in a minute. For the most part, though, they weren't, you know. Yeah. They weren't friends in school. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. And he was the one who was already very good. Yeah, Leo. yeah. But his dad did come down and get me from work when yeah. you two managed yeah. to... Well, you managed to fall out the, out the loft hatch. <laughs> yeah. Which was his fault. That wasn't when he was a kid. That was just when they were... That's kind of a kid. I was, what? 15? Yeah. That hurt somewhat. <laughs> yeah. Broke a, broke oh, PE was... A couple of vertebrae. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, PE. Blimmin... Oh. Never understood what was going on. Yeah. Never had the right uniform. Never got never got picked to be in a team for anything. Yeah. Ugh, horrible, horrible, horrible. Hated it. Yeah, also, I only had experience of doing boys' PE. Yeah. Which meant, oh, it's raining. Let's get them to go out in the rain in shorts and yeah. run around a muddy field. Run, run about in so the So the bullies snow. can just kick the crap out of the, yeah. the smaller kids. Yeah. 
And God forbid if you didn't have the right PE kit and you had to wear something out of the cupboard. Yeah. Which happened to me often. Luckily, by the time I was there, it wasn't acceptable anymore for the teachers to make you do it in your pants. Yeah. Yeah, that was the Um, thing. I remember doing it in my pants as well. yeah. Yeah. That's always... Oh, it's fun. And then and then we have to do things. I don't know if they still... God forbid, I hope they don't make kids do it anymore, but you still all have to shower naked in front of each other. Yeah. Oh. With the t- PE teacher watching. Yeah, sometimes more than what be strictly necessary, one yeah. could argue. And I was this, uh, like, hard to imagine now, but I was this little... Well, I know the little isn't hard to imagine, but little skinny, flat-chested little thing when... All of my, all of my peers weren't. <laughs> it's okay though, because children are well known for being very kind, kind. and generous <laughs> to each other. <laughs> <laughs> Not horrible little bastards or anything. <laughs> oh, hang bastards. on. Bastards, we're on YouTube. What can't I say on YouTube? <sighs> <laughs> my my stool is slipping away from me. I'm gradually leaning further and further down. Yeah. Let's get myself back. Yeah. <laughs> one thing I remember talking of writing notes to get out of here. Hey, Lindsay! I'd once hurt my hip somehow um, and had PE, so Dad wrote me a note. Um, but for some reason, he wrote back instead of hip, so I had to pretend I'd hurt my back. <laughs> it's like, he said, he said it was because it was quicker to write or something. It's more letters than hip. <laughs> 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 oh. And the kind of the kind of thing they would send you to as like a punishment if you'd forgotten your PE kit for the third time, so you can do PE. Right, you can go and do double maths instead. Yes, brilliant. <laughs> I'm never bringing PE kit again. Uh, you can go and sit in the library. Ah, oh, bliss! I loved the library. Yeah, yeah. But rugby was horrible. Go back to the still talking about people took out and player, but. At least in rugby, you're not given a massive stick. Yeah, hockey is... Hockey can't uh, have been fun. <laughs> hockey, like... Yeah, vicious. If, yeah. If, you, if you're a kid that gets bullied and you find yourself up against a swarm of girls with hockey sticks... Yeah, no thanks. It's not fun. <laughs> I just, I mean, for me, it was a part of it was down to the fact... Part of it was down to the fact that I can catch or throw a ball or anything like anything kind of I know you didn't do that in hockey but in any of the sports yeah, if you're catching it in hockey I was very <laughs> uncoordinated yeah the other thing was I didn't understand the rules I didn't I literally didn't understand what you were supposed to be doing because you didn't care to <laughs> yeah it was just I couldn't see the point of it yeah. did That's... I ever tell I must have told you about that time I was I, I, I can still remember the feeling of elation closely followed by the pits of despair when (laughs) I was running I'd got the ball and for some reason (laughs) nobody was tackling me nobody was stopping me and I was heading towards the goal and everybody was cheering and cheering and it was me and I was you know, everybody was shouting for it. They weren't. It turned out they were shouting Everyone at me. Everyone was shouting. They were basically going, you're an idiot. You're going in the wrong direction. And I scored a... What do you call it when you score? A goal? Yeah. Yeah. And I was so at pleased. At least you scored. I can remember doing it, turning around in triumph and wondering why everybody was just kind of going, oh. Look on the bright My side. My moment of... You managed to hit the ball and it went in the right area. Well, it was the wrong right area. No wonder nobody was miss. stopping me, was yeah. it? You didn't God. miss. That's the thing to remember. <laughs> yeah. It's their own fault. If they'd been friends with you, they would have been able to mm. explain to you more easily that you were going the wrong way like an idiot. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Miserable. The only thing I did enjoy in PE, which I only remember happening maybe once or twice the entire time I was there, was when they get the trampoline out. Oh, right. Well, we didn't have a trampoline. Yeah, neither did we most of the time. I say, I think it can't have been more than twice. Wow, I wonder why they didn't it do that more often. Yeah, who knows? Too much trouble. Probably too many injuries. Too many kids breaking <laughs> yeah. their legs. They had a swimming pool there as well, but that was broken the entire time mm. I was there. We got driven somewhere else to go swimming if we had to. Well, Awkwardly was... to a girls' school. Mm. A bit weird. When I when we were still in London, the school I went to, the last school I went to, there had um, a swimming pool. 
well we, there was a local one we went to a very local one i can't remember now it was actually in the school or just very nearby but again i got picked on and bullied and somebody would there was this guy i can't remember his name now our te swimming teacher was called mrs hayho <laughs> that's unfortunate hilarious. for working with yeah. children <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> and there's this hideous boy that used to pick on me a lot and he just picked me up by I couldn't swim I had my armbands on and my stupid rubber hat they used to make you wear a good look Veruca socks whatever you know it was a glamorous look right and, um, and he picked me up by one ankle oh and yeah so nice. I went under yeah I don't know why I'm terrified of water now can't I can't imagine, imagine. yeah <sighs> anyway I could stop <laughs> moaning now and talk about something cheerful couldn't I, I suppose apparently <laughs> this is cheerful <laughs> Last year, a PE was bad for Paula because <laughs> she managed to throw a javelin through a teacher's foot. <laughs> no! <laughs> yeah, they didn't trust us with javelins. Through, close my eyes. I'll oh, scroll up again. I missed that. Close my eyes. Next thing, she was screaming. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh. You had to throw heavy balls, did you? <laughs> Is that what you were watching him it's do in that uh, game on Twitch that time with the horse? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's playing Red Dead Redemption. It's an excellent <laughs> quote. <laughs> oh. oh, thank you, Lindsay. I don't think about them anymore. I tell you what, I don't think about them yeah. much. But you still get this instinctive reaction if I smell a school or hear a, hear a playground or yeah. whatever, it takes you See right children. back. See <laughs> children. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We've gone quiet and thoughtful now. We have, yeah. I'm yeah. just thinking how fun it would be to go back in time to when I was in school, but as an adult and just kick all the other children in the... In yeah. stupid little faces. Oh, we could we could <laughs> we could talk them into a cocktail now, couldn't we? I'd true, love to go true. back to my child self and just say, look, just do this. I promise you, that'll be fine. Yeah. I wish I could believe that all bullies are just jealous. They're not. Some of them are just not good people. Yeah. Some of them, sure, they've had a bad time at home. That's not okay. You yeah. didn't have an excellent time at home, but you weren't a bully. No. I mean, you were like skinny and three feet high. You'd have sucked at being a bully even if you wanted to. But <laughs> you could have been nasty to people even if you didn't have the size to back it up. Yeah. Yeah, I've I've got very little sympathy for bullies, but I can't make myself believe that they're just jealous. That's just something that people say to feel better about it. It's like you know. yeah. they're not jealous. They're just awful. It's <laughs> <Those> awful people. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> that's the thing it's like sure you can see how it helps sometimes trying to think of them as just jealous but it almost gives them an excuse it's, no. Yeah. it doesn't help that um, like when you get like house points and things at school they tend to be for sporty things and stuff like that not for academic things so if you're an yeah. academic swat like <laughs> on balls yeah. it does not make you popular it really no. doesn't. No. That's a bad fold. Well, people are just saying that you must have amazing muscle memory because you've been folding and <laughs> making almost without thinking. Oh, it's entirely without thinking, trust me. Yeah, there's no thinking involved now. No. <laughs> Not for some time. <laughs> I just love doing this, though. It's yeah. funny, isn't it? I, I, yeah. It's um, very relaxing for me, yeah. this kind of thing. I know some bullies do feel bad about what they did, Helen, yeah. I've seen stories. Yeah. Um, they grow up and they see what they did for what it was, and yeah. they like try and apologise to the people they did it to. Yeah. Also, you know you get those people who say that school was the best years of their life, and often they were the popular kids, if yeah. not the bullies. Often both, because the two go hand in hand. I know it's what like, you're going to say. The reason it was the best years of their life is because they peaked in yeah. school. That's the best it ever got for them. Yeah. The so fact got... that nothing got better for them after school is so yeah. sad. It's like... Mm. <sighs> Adulthood, sure, has its problems. When you're in school, you're not paying taxes and all that kind of stuff. But... I suppose you, in some ways you're relatively carefree. But yeah. I remember as a kid worrying about everything. I worried constantly as a kid. It's lucky that's changed. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. 
<laughs> you grow out of that just like you grow out of being short. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, yeah, you might not have what people perceive as um, significant things to worry Pretty about. Interesting answer. No, but we're not live. <laughs> it doesn't mean it's less worrying for you. Yeah. Just because it seems trivial, you know, as a child. It, might, it was a massively yeah. worrying thing to me. Happy yeah, birthday, yeah, Tracy! Happy birthday. I was lying, we are still alive. <laughs> Did you go out for a nice meal today? Yeah. I would have had cake, as you said, but... Oh, I would have loved a bit of carrot cake, or what was it, carrot yeah. cake or coffee cake? Yeah, One of my favourites. I don't like coffee, but coffee cake. Coffee oh, cake, honey. different thing, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. I think... The, the key to coffee cake being better than coffee is it doesn't taste that much like coffee. No, it doesn't really. It's more like that um, camp coffee you get in a mm. I actually in have a some camp coffee. Yeah, because you started, you were getting into making cakes when you yeah. discovered you were diabetic. <laughs> yeah, <stop. laughs> typical. <laughs> Think about making cakes, though. <laughs> you did make some amazing and bread. I had, I had all the right tools. I had a little cake saw and everything. Bye, Jean. Bye, Jean. Thanks for popping in. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the cake saw was fun, because you've got to cut a cake in half evenly. Yeah. Um, cake saw. I mean, why not just use a bread knife like, knife like normal people? It's basically a bread saw. I didn't want my cakes to turn out like yours. <laughs> I'll never make another cake for you, ever. Oh, do you don't promise? you like coffee? <laughs> How can you not like coffee? <laughs> I suppose, like, I don't like tea. Well, I do mm. sometimes... I'll have certain teas. Well, I'll tell you what I have been enjoying. Saunius isn't here, is he? You know he sent that Moomin tea in mm. that package. I'm really enjoying those yeah. Moomin teas from time to time. I'm not because a fan of tea. I have them black, so mm. it, it's tea with milk and stuff. I don't really know. Yeah. Oh, you had fish and chips and cheesecake later. Oh, nice. And carrot cake. Yeah, yeah, nice, nice. Mm. And you've just seen, just seen a film with a film? That doesn't make sense. I see what it means. I've seen a film with him. Ah. <laughs> um, You're typing too quick, Tracy. <laughs> <laughs> You're on a sugar high from all the... Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, with a friend. Ah. Okay. That makes sense. Yes. What film did you see? Yeah. I haven't watched a film in a cinema for decades. The last film I watched in a cinema was Avatar, the first Avatar mm. when it came out. That's how long ago that was. So that must have been yeah. uh, 2006, 7? June Part 2. I'm looking that? forward to that. I watched June Part 1 recently. Ooh. Um, yeah, I think the last film I watched in a cinema was Men in Black 1 with Dad. <gasps> even longer ago? <laughs> yes. Seriously? When I said decades, I wasn't kidding. Wow, that's even longer than me. Yeah. It's just... You know, it's not fun. I, if I could, like, rent out the entire cinema to myself or just invite a few yeah. friends without popcorn or anything mm, else noisy yeah, to popcorn eat... popcorn is a big problem, isn't it? It's a huge part of the issue for me. Yeah. I, I mean, another part of the issue for me is that... Oh, I've just done that wrong. Oh, why would you do it? It's because I'm I'm on a roll. I'm making rectangle <laughs> yeah. boxes, whereas now I should be making square boxes. Well, luckily you've got two sets, so... <sighs> Yeah, another part of the problem with me going to the cinema is going on your own feels a bit strange. And when I might have been interested in going at all, I didn't really have any friends. And even now I don't really have any friends that live anywhere near me. No, um, no, your friends are more online, aren't yeah. they? And, or down in London. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's... Uh, Not a fun time for me. I think muscle memory burns calories. <laughs> um, is it like a workout? Yeah, let's say it is. <laughs> Never skip muscle memory day. <laughs> <laughs> How are we doing for time? Do we need to think about um, um, putting in the drawer? Well, we probably do soon, yeah. I've got an yeah, hour till 20, my taxi gets here. Yeah. About 20 minutes. We usually stop at 10, don't we? I'm so really we stop at 10. As well, are you? Mm. Are you going to blame my cooking, or...? I was going to blame the fizzy drink, but now that you mention it, yeah. Did have dinner that you cooked. <laughs> Oppenheimer and Killer of the Flower Moon. Mm -hmm. They both sound good. I quite like a long film. I like getting into a long film. Yeah. My ridiculous, obsessive personality insist that because I've started watching 
all of the Doctor Who episodes. I can't really watch <laughs> anything else. <laughs> yeah. Until I've watched all of them. See, I have that problem, which is it sometimes comes out in a more horrible way than that. In that I made the mistake of reading one of the Twilight books. Oh. God. So then I had to read all of the Twilight books. And they're awful. So bad. Sorry for I anybody. Hated every second <laughs> of it. Sorry for anybody that loves them. It's, like, it's got to be some of the worst literature that's ever been written. It mm. was embarrassingly bad. But I had started reading one book just to see what the fuss was about, and I had to read the rest. Oh, God. Not because no. I was enjoying it, I just had to finish what I'd started. I think I read like a paragraph, and that was it. I couldn't stand it. It's god awful. It really is. I bet I'm not some, even going to apologise to some, any fans. I bet there's some Twilight fans here oh, who just offended hugely. Yeah, yeah. They're allowed to be wrong. That's fine. <laughs> you can like awful things if you want. It's like we don't mind them. We don't mind them hating cats, do we? No, we, we don't mind, mind them, them liking cats. dogs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Have you already? Yeah, I think you've already fixed that blue tech thing that I ruined for no, you. No, I haven't. Oh, you haven't. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to have to. Yeah. Now you've said it though. <laughs> I had my perfect blue tack cube stuck up on the shelf, and he deliberately squished it just to annoy me. I'm going to do another one. Oh, I'm going to have to start again now because he's got it all. <laughs> funny. She's very easy to manipulate. Actually, that will do. That will do. Can I have a quick look? No. I'm just going to stand up for unrelated reasons. Can you not, please? <laughs> no. Yes, as the bot just said, remember you can join in chat. We'll leave it another two minutes, let's say. Yeah. So if you haven't already joined... It's to win a cross-stitch kit, and it is quite a complex cross-stitch yes. kit. Um, brilliant one to get your teeth into if you love a bit of cross-stitch. But as Susan said, not for the faint-hearted. <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much to Susan for not only donating it, but... Um, being happy to send it to wherever it, it wants to go. Mm. Whoever wins. And Tracy's just said thank you to everyone for all of the homemade cards and all the stuff they sent. Uh, yeah, quite a few people. Did you see my message, yeah. Tracy? I did. Um, I, I think I did label everything when I packed it all up, but obviously it came apart when you were undoing them. But I did send you a message listing who sent what. <laughs> yes, it was it very was much a team thing, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, exclamation mark join in chat if you haven't already. Um, we've got some lovely pictures of the thing donated by Susan. Should we have um, a quick look while we're waiting in Discord to see if anybody's... Oh, yeah, we'll have a quick look at that and then we'll close then the we'll... giveaway. Yeah. Ah, I see what Pee-Pee's been doing, yeah. He's been going through mods for the game that we've been playing together. Oh, yeah. right, yeah. <laughs> Excellent bit of crafting there. Yeah. Ooh, some very nice embroidery Oh, look at that. How have you done that many lumpy Sus? part? <laughs> so many Sues. What's the collective noun for a group of Sues? <laughs> a, 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 a craft of Sues. <laughs> a clod. <laughs> a clod. A heap of Sues. A snooze of Sues. Ooh, look at that. Mm. Love your artwork, Kate. Yeah. I love that. Very expressive. Yeah. Good that. Mm. Jean's done. Jean's gone now, isn't she? Yes, I think she left a little bit ago. She could go on for the um, inspired by it, the future thing. It was somebody looking out through sunglasses. Oh, yeah, um, yeah. Future looks bright, I think. Oh. Woohoo! Tracy Service has got us beaten there. Last film was <laughs> The Hunt for Red October. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Assuming like you watched that like when it came thing. out, that was a while ago. <laughs> <laughs> It really does border on work, Pee Pee, yeah. Because I was the one who was hosting stuff, so I was putting the mod stuff together. It's basically, there are modifications to the game that we're playing, and you have to put together a list of them that work together. Um, and, yeah. So it's kind of, yeah. It can be hours of just going through and finding stuff yeah. that'll be fun. Yeah, Worth it's it. quite, yeah, but it is, yeah. it's kind of like, it does feel like work when you're doing something like Yeah, that, it's the game that I've played more than any other, according to Steam. Um, really? Yeah. Does Steam um, always know when what you're playing, though? It knows what I'm playing through Steam in theory. Problem is, some of it is not true, because when you start the game, a separate launcher starts, which stays open after you close the game. 
so sometimes it thinks that I've been playing it like for four solid days but it's just had something up in the background right um, yeah. but it still has been hundreds of hours many of them with PP um, anyway <laughs> let's not talk about boring anyway. game stuff um, I'm just telling myself I've, I've lost myself here, but it's okay. I haven't. Yeah, actually. you'll be fine. Right, so we're going to close the giveaway. Okay. Because I or think you guys have enough time to join. Wheelie rolly bit now. We will do the, re- the wheelie rolly bit, yeah. It's wheelie wheelie rolly. Yeah. <laughs> and yes, as Tracy Ann says, remember to like and subscribe. Yes, thank you, Tracy Ann. And yeah. um, Granny Sue was saying the other day that she's still coming across people who are saying that they have found themselves unsubscribed. Yes, it does thing. happen. So yeah. If you think, if you already think you're subscribed, just check that you still are, because it seems like YouTube has been unsubscribing people. It does like I to do that a bit. Especially noticed it or anything, but just because people are saying that's a thing. Yeah. Um. Okay. That is probably the one. Yes, yes, open it with Notepad. Not a lot of things in here, so all of you have joined have got a fairly good. You've got a good. Uh, was that 10, chance? 11, 10, 1 Turns in 10 out you didn't chance? accept PP's uh, joke entry. In here. <laughs> we could add you into the running if you want, PP. If you did want to uh, win the cross stitch kit, PP, you could still be in with a chance. Yeah. Yes, as PP says, it's Armour 3, specifically with the anti Stasi. Um, mission. You're suddenly talking in a different language to me. Yeah. yeah. Lots of running around and shooting at things. Trying to over, overthrow a corrupt government. Oh. Which the way we've got set up is apparently the Swedish government. I'm saying, ah, oh, like I know Schultz's what you're talking choice. about. But... <laughs> right. Um, okay. Two left hands and ten thumbs. That might be quite good with cost it. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I think I the main thing you need is a, is a younger set of eyes than I've got. With uh, I've got some cross stitch yeah. kits to do as Chinese company sent me, but they're like printed on the canvas. Yeah. And so it's going to be you know I'm hoping I can do them, but <laughs> I love this bit. <laughs> <laughs> so we got a wheel of names. So a few names. It doesn't even need to do the magic infinite triangle. No. Thing. Um. Okay. Are we ready to go? Should we warn people that if they win, they have to actually do the cross stitch and show us in Discord? You will have to show us yeah, in Discord. Yeah, by the end yeah. of next week. It's a legal requirement. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So let's do a pre drum roll, drum roll to impressive. just build the tension. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, oh. It's looking like Gabby. It's looking like Gabby. Oh no, he's going for me. Oh no, I think it's Kel. Well done, Kelsey. Are you still there? Removed Kelsey. (laughs) I'm not surprised because a lot of people won't tackle a cross stitch. It is quite a and it is quite a daunting. It's gonna be beautiful. It's a hell of a lot of thread in there. Did you see the pile of threads? Mm. Um so yeah, it's probably not for everybody. So, um, is Kelsey <laughs> still there? Yep. Never wins anything, apparently. Brilliant. So, what we need you to do is get into... So, are you, you're in Discord, aren't you? Yeah. If you're not in the Discord, now's an excellent time to join. Yeah, Kelsey... <laughs> because, it's, again, it's a slightly different name, but I think it... Yeah. Good. Yeah. It's Kelly. It's Kelly, isn't it? In we've If, if it is, I've already got your address, because we've done a... Yeah. If it's the Ooh. yeah, it is. It's the Kelly I'm thinking of. So I'll already, I'll already have your address. That should have worked, BB. Why What's did that? that he did an exclamation mark Discord thing. Oh, Ooh, he's disabled. Oh. Um. Maybe you disabled it last time. Was I it doing it too often doing it or automatically, something? Yeah. yeah. Um. Brilliant. Oh, that's nice. Okay, it should work now. That would be something <laughs> to really get stuck into. Kelly, so uh, so yes, so obviously it is the Kelly I'm thinking of. So uh, excellent, and you've been really getting into the slow stitching and stuff, haven't you? So I think you'll I think you'll really enjoy that. It's quite a challenge. That's why I disabled it. 
and you can always mm. do like I do with cross stitch kits and things and put your own spin on it a bit. Yeah. You don't have to do exactly what it, you know. You don't have to. You've got a massive amount of threads and stuff there. And uh, yeah, so you can always say, uh, you've got a bit of scope to do your own thing with if you want to. Well, we won't be angry if you don't get it done by next week. Okay. We're just very disappointed. A <laughs> couple of weeks then. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I'd be impressed with myself if I got it done in, in a year. It would be a thing that I would pick up every so often. Yeah. Like with that crochet blanket. I've been working on that for months. But I find it relaxing to pick up every so often. So. Oh, Tracy uh, needs to know what the, the theme things... for the art is. It you're talking about the inspired by? Oh, that one. It's it, the the theme for this time is the future. So inspired by the future. It's true. You didn't say what year. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's inspired by the future. So. Um, if you want to do a piece for that, you can share it in the Discord or in the Facebook mm. group. If you go in the Facebook group, make sure... I mean, it's probably easiest to just put it in Discord. We've got the Inspired By... Yes, that's an in, ideal uh, place for it, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Uh, um, Gabby, um, Gabby Chic Dolls, she's already done hers. You've seen Johnny's. Jean's done hers. She's not on YouTube, but she's in, on Instagram. Um, Emily's done hers, Emily Arts. Yeah. Uh, cutest voodoo Beck has done hers. Oh, look at that! <gasps> oh, have you made that from scratch, Paula? It's very fancy. Oh, those lumpy, those lumpy bits. The twists are called drizzle stitch. I've never heard of that. I'm just about to start um, creating craft with Christine's um, dictionary of stitches. I've got all my stuff ready. That's my plan for Monday. So maybe I'll come across Drizzle Stitch. It's interesting, isn't it? I've never heard of it. I mean, Drizzle Stitch sounds a lot better than Lumpy Bits. Oh, there you go, yeah. <laughs> Lovely. Yeah, fancy. Christine was showing... Um, it was... Cassie had sent her some, like, vintage buttons and, and silk threads and things, and this these three books full of embroidery transfers, vintage embroidery mm. transfers from... Like they look, some of them look sort of 1920s or 30s, right through to mm. 40s, 50s, you know. Lovely old, uh, and I was so jealous. I went on eBay. Yeah. And got myself some. <laughs> I won the bid. No I, put, I put a bid in. I won. I just have another look here. That's the it's... thing on eBay. You don't actually pay for anything. You just win stuff, don't you? Yeah. That's why they call it winning. Yeah, definitely just win. So... I have to have another look, because Paula said the golf one was a big fail. Don't look too close. So I'd have a closer look. Oh, we've got to have a very close look That's now. not a fail. Oh, that just makes it, just it look vintage. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I've seen very badly failed golf. Lindsay, you've got, you've got to join Discord. <laughs> you do have to join Discord. It's... Yeah. So much better than Facebook. Just... Yeah. yeah. It just is. It's not. It's more personal and. It's not social media in the and, way yeah, Facebook no. is, is it? It's just not. It's not like a. I mean, it is. It is social media, I guess, isn't it? It but feels it just more like a group of friends having a chat. Mm. In it just feels the same very, room, very almost. different. Yeah. 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 <laughs> she 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 does have some amazing. Thank you. I think these were actually sent to her though, Karen. They um. But yeah, she goes. If she does this Swifty Thursday thing where she shows her mm. hauls, and they have these. They call them op shops in Australia, mm. where we call them charity shops. Americans call them thrift stores, don't they? But they're op shops, short for opportunity shops, which I think is lovely. And she always finds the most amazing, like vintage linens and stuff. I think all the really lovely stuff in charity shops doesn't hit the shops here because they got wise to it and they go online. Yeah. And I mean, to be fair, they're getting more for the charity. So that's yeah, I mean, enough. as long as they're doing that and the money's going to the charity, good, I yeah. guess. But yeah, but you don't get the finds yeah. you used to get. Yeah. yeah. Uh... Oh, stuff has gone a bit West Country there. I told her. I told her. <laughs> I told her I did. <laughs> I says to her, I says, Congrats on the baby. What have we missed? What have you missed? Curly had a so baby. So on a Discord. Brand new grandbaby. Uh, I had oh, a baby. Okay. lovely. I haven't got any grandbabies yet. Yeah. <laughs> I borrow John's though, because he's got he's got grandchildren, so yeah. children are awful. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh, they're doing them there as well. Yeah, yeah they, they get wise to the ones that I used to pick up um, the old children's ladybird books for like 50p. And now, if you do ever get them, mm. they'll put like two or three quid on them. And you think, well, yeah. some kids already scribbled in. It's not, you know. I blame. They're only 25 people who bought them. Well, some of it is that. Mm. Yeah. Oh, bloody mm. fault. He's I put a bid in on some for the rest of wooden. <laughs> empty wooden cotton reels yeah. just recently and i didn't get them and um i did think later on i was looking at something on on uh, etsy and this lady was selling threads and things and she'd wound them onto oh. vintage wooden cotton reel. and you know i'm sure they're used for stuff and it's great they're being used but it does mean you can't get them cheap anymore yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah. you've been like this all day like what Bit of West Country. Oi. <laughs> yeah, you were doing a few mistypes earlier on, weren't you? <laughs> <laughs> I get like that sometimes. Tom's very good at understanding my gibberish. Typed gibberish, yeah. Yeah. I think we need to be thinking about saying goodbye now. We probably do. Yeah. So well done, Kelly, and thank yep. you so much to Susan for uh, donating that prize. That's really nice that it's going to a good home. I think Kelly will have fun with that, yeah. especially because she's just like not long started getting into stitching and stuff. She sent me an amazing swap square. That's why I've got her address. And well done yeah. to you for managing fancy new technology with your uh, thumbnail. Yes, did you see thing? my fancy <laughs> thumbnail there, where the where the photos are stacked up and and rotating them? I learnt how to do that today. Yeah. Although it's really obvious, actually. It's basically what you've already done, but three times. Yeah, yeah. That's now clever. you know how to do it three yeah. times. Yeah, we need to do that every time yeah. now. Some lovely colours in that. Yeah. And what price? What price is it? What size is it? I've forgotten what it said now. Can't wait for that picture to come mm. round again now. I've got fifteen inches in my head. Yeah. Okay, that sounded dirty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, one minute. Fifteen by thirty-five. Mm. Is it fifteen by thirty-five Maybe. or twenty-five? Fifteen by twenty-five. Well, I mean, we could just so that's quite look a size. Picture, but... Yeah. Look, let's look at the bigger picture a minute. <laughs> just because I need to know. Because I'm just mm. thinking if I was making that, I'd end up turning that into a book mm. cover or something. You probably would, wouldn't you? Because <laughs> I haven't got room to frame things and stick them on the wall, so if I can turn them into something, you know. Uh, 15 by 11. 15 by 11 inches, so just looking at my... Dang. Designed by Sam Park. That's quite a size, actually. Apparently half cross yeah. stitch is used in this design for artistic effect. Yes. So it's kind of, yeah, it's going to be that sort of a, almost the size of my yeah. cut in that. I mean, that's bigger than I'd want to do a cross stitch myself. I wouldn't have that much patience. It's going to be a phenomenal, phenomenal when you get to, I love all the flowers in the foreground. I love yes, those that like some don't they? Yeah. Sort of set of colours. Yeah. 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 So uh, hopefully you'll get that done by next week, Kelly, and we'll all look forward to seeing it. Yeah. Yeah. Did you Better realise how quick. big it was? She's mm -hmm. going, well, so. <laughs> Good luck with that. Huh? Huh? Yeah, we... <laughs> we'll definitely all judge you if you don't get it done in a week. Um. <laughs> right, OK. We'll yes, say, we're we'll say our goodbyes um, now. Uh, bye. I'm going to go and finish folding boxes. Yes, and I'm going to quickly turn this on for you. Not big, funny or clever. <laughs> if only you could work out how to do it, I would change that. Yeah, but you never will. No. <laughs> Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Remember to like and subscribe. And happy rest of your birthday yeah. weekend, Tracy. We will no doubt see you guys soon. Yeah.